shop online, CaboBobs.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Senator Ted Cruz has met with opposition in his defense of Israel. ABC News reports it happened this week during a dinner Cruz attended held by the In Defense of Christians organization. Cruz ultimately walked out, telling the crowd that booed him that, quote, if you will not stand with Israel, if you will not stand with the Jews, then I will not stand with you. The vocal opposition apparently began when Cruz told the crowd, today Christians have no greater friend than the Jewish state. The Medina Farm in Wharton, Texas will be hosting a hands-on workshop about food. The Farm Food Family Weekend will include three food-centric events. Friday, November 14th, will feature a farm-to-table dinner with an exclusive local menu created and prepared by Chef Nancy Foster. The next event is an organic cooking class titled How to Stretch a Chicken Five Ways. The event is Saturday, November 15th, also led by Chef Nancy. And the third and final event for the weekend is the Fundamentals of Farming Seminar that will take place Saturday, November 15th. Seating is limited for all three events. Tickets are expected to sell out, so get them early. Visit the MedinaFarm.com for more information and ticket pricing info. Dr. Paul Conant, toxicologist and founder of the Fluoride Action Network, was in San Marcos yesterday for a lunch meeting with city council members and city staff and for a happy hour with community activists. Present at the meeting was Mayor Daniel Guerrero, Councilwoman Lisa Pruitt, and Councilman Wayne Beekack. John Bush, founder of the Liberty Beat and San Marcos resident, was also in attendance. He said the council members seemed genuinely interested and asked some great questions. The visit came as momentum for a city petition drive to put the question of fluoridation to a vote is gaining steam. Join us next week for an in-depth report on the council members' feedback and Dr. Conant's wisdom and advice during the meeting. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM, located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Saying that he was giving his co-workers at Marley Publishing just a few more days to catch on to him, local mentally unstable man Michael Redding told reporters he planned on exhibiting one or two more warning signs this week before, quote, finally doing this. I think I'll do just a couple of disconcerting things in front of people here at the office, maybe give them a day or two to take action through the appropriate channels. But if that doesn't happen, then I'm going through with it. The fully unhinged Redding, who plans on, quote, making this thing happen sometime next week, claims that despite displaying erratic and worrisome behavior around the office for the past few months, his actions have gone completely unreported by his coworkers. I definitely talked about my frustration with life in general, and I even discussed my fascination with all sorts of violence. But that still didn't throw up any red flags. We'll see if anyone catches on. Mike? I don't know him super well, but he's nice enough. He's quiet and he keeps to himself mostly, but I'm sure he'll come out of the shell. Just a matter of time. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about here on the, the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. That's right. It's Free Talk Live. We open up the phone lines here on, uh, well, this Sunday evening. We do it seven nights a week from 7 p. to 10 p. Eastern time and let you call in and talk about whatever you want. But, of course, we bring show prep to the table. So, Brian, apparently the draft's a good idea? <laughs> apparently, uh, which, of course, right off the bat, no, it's not. Um, but this is actually, this is a, a blog post, uh, kind of, you know, an, ed- an editorial, the, the internet version of an editorial uh, from the Huffington Post. Is this and, one of the, those things where it's like the opinions of this blogger do not represent those of the Huffington Post necessarily, or are they, is this like their position? Uh, well, 
Yeah, I guess maybe it's more like that. They, if the official line for a blog for this kind of editorial work on uh, on the Huffington Post is featuring fresh takes and real time analysis from HuffPost's signature lineup of contributors. So that's not really saying it's not their position so much. Uh, I mean, that's really saying that yeah, this is just you know fresh ideas. That oh, I'm they're sure they're hand picked very carefully. <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, from H. A. Goodman, who is an author, and I think this is important to the story to get the the perspective of who exactly this guy is, uh, the writer, uh, and he's an author and journalist uh, published in Salon. Uh, the Jerusalem Post, the Chicago Tribune, the Hills Congress blog, and other publications. So I think that's really important to keep in mind. Uh, but he does describe himself as a Tea Party uh, participant, I guess you'd call that. All right. So that, that's I think that's important to keep in mind, too. You but, don't find too many Tea Party Partiers published on Salon. Right. So, uh, well, admittedly, in the past year, actually ever since the Snowden revelations, Salon's been pretty good about publishing some pretty controversial stuff about the government. But they've also uh, been it, like ripping on libertarians really hard. Uh, no doubt. Uh, but then that's not hard. Libertarians make it very easy to be ripped upon. Um, but anyway, this uh, this story is want or this blog is want to destroy ISIS. Congress should implement the draft and raise taxes immediately. All right. And this is from September 12th of this year. I don't like year. either of these ideas. No. <laughs> then again, it's a I, modest actually, proposal. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I don't like any, all three of them. Um, You're right. <laughs> which is, I don't see any reason to go after ISIS either. But yeah. okay. So since President Obama recently stated ISIS is a direct threat to national and global security, and since we have a military that is overburdened from two wars in the Middle East, one still going on ongoing in Afghanistan, the American people should make some sacrifices for the next war. I, I, no, what? <laughs> no, yeah. haven't we sacrificed? I didn't even want to sacrifice for the first one. This is the thing is that, and I'll say this now, when I read this, I, I was like, there's no way this guy can't be serious, but he makes sure he, he puts in the point that this is not a joke, that, that he's being quite serious. You said he write, writes for the Jerusalem Post? Yeah, for okay. J Post, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thus far, the 2.5 million Why veterans- Why is he trying to get Americans to fight for him then? Well, like- I think he's an American, but okay. just he happens to write for- I mean, Jay Post is, is about as big as the New York Times these days. Um, so thus far, the 2.5 million veterans of both wars, less than 1% of the population, and their families have done all the heavy lifting for our great nation. So he is a U.S. citizen. Um, as a result, we recently had a VA crisis that is still ongoing, uh, a, de- a debt crisis that our chil- grandchildren will be faced with well into their own retirement and the threat of future buzzet uh, sequestration and even shutdowns. We have a population of over 313 million people and it isn't fair for the 2.5 million veterans or the over 500,000 active duty soldiers to defend such a large nation on their own, especially against uh, on their own, especially against an existential threat in ISIS. Now, I mean, some of his points here about uh, you know the VA crisis a debt crisis that's being put on grandchildren and all that I think all that's pretty accurate that that's occurring yep um, I, I got it yeah so it's time to get off but the of co- course that could easily be stopped by just ending the wars and just you know basically minding the US government people minding their own business sure it would certainly help as far as uh, revenue goes but I think that the government at this point even with with the economic downturn probably was spending more than it could afford to even with just the Social Security true and, and, yeah. and absolutely yeah, true Medicaid yeah but that's and, what democracy is it's basically stealing from the unborn the next generation yeah absolutely. they'll pay for it we'll give you free stuff now in exchange for your votes and somebody else will pay for it yeah down the line yeah yeah so it's time to get off the couch, America, and collectively sacrifice for national security, both through taxes to fund the next conflict and a draft like previous generations in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. ISIS wants to bankrupt this country and drag us into another quagmire, so if you believe these maniacs need to be destroyed by bullets fired from American guns, it's time for you to start firing these bullets and paying for the next war. Once we... Def- yeah. But, you know, okay, how much... Have prices got like how much ha- has been stolen from us through inflation? You know, that's a tax that you can't get around as long as you use the U.S. dollar. And that is not an insignificant amount. Not not by any stretch. Um, Just, it, it might yeah. be the most insidious of the, the taxes. Look at your receipt. I mean, like, I remember when I first moved to New Hampshire, this was eight years ago, uh, almost exactly. 
there the the prices especially for things like food were just lower you know like it, you could probably maybe tw- i don't know 20 percent that might not be uh inaccurate right well we know that uh large banking organizations control the federal reserve the federal reserve creates uh federal reserve notes known as u.s dollars um do you think those that organization is most worried about people on the bottom of the <laughs> uh you know economic food no. chain or on the top on the top. Yeah, of I mean, I think that that's a pretty easy one to uh, to figure out. Let's go to Philip in California. Philip, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, I'm just wondering what we can believe and what we can't believe. None of how it. Gullible, that's a great question, Philip. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how gullible are Americans? Who uh, believes that a airplane flying into a building held up by... 40 steel columns with one-inch webs could bring down uh, two World Trade Center buildings at free fall. As a I thought it was two airplanes. Yeah. Uh, 25 airplanes Don't couldn't bring the them down. Story, Mark. So, of, co- of course, you're referencing 9-11, correct? That, that's right. Okay. Now, I'm, referencing the, I'm referencing the gullibility of Americans. Well, now let me, the gullibility that they believe the official story, right? Exactly. Right. Well, now, now I want to ask you this, okay, is that say you proved that, or say whoever ends up proving that 9-11 was a, perhaps an inside job, or that, uh, you know, the government knew about it or whatever, what, what exactly do you anticipate happening after we, after that gets proven? Absolutely nothing. Okay, then you are a realist, sir. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I agree <laughs> okay. with that. Uh, I, 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 I know that. I know that uh, those buildings had to be uh, uh, brought down at pinpoint demolition accuracy. Each of those columns had to be shape charge cut, and who could do that without an inside? group of people knowing so philip do you uh do you still support the government either party in any way or are are you totally none whatsoever oh then you're consistent i I, I gotta hand it to you i I believe that they just trade off their lies and um uh i would no more stand in line to vote and waste my time i mean which which group of liars do i vote for (laughs) <laughs> and what yeah, good neither. Can they, they can't. What, what good can they do? Pick your favorite color. Thanks for the call, Philip. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I appreciate that because a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, you know, really hammer home the the idea that nine eleven was an inside job. And okay, perhaps it was, perhaps it wasn't. But if it was, what what are you going to do next? Right? Are you going to continue to kind of support the government and keep participating yeah. in the political system? You asking draw from this? asking right. the government for stuff. Like I saw a video the other day where um, somebody was alleging 9-11's an inside job. And then in the same breath, they were asking the government for benefits to give to the firefighters or whatever yeah. from 9-11. And it's like, really, you got to like step back for a moment and think about what you just said. Right. It's that time. <laughs> the of same year. government who perpetrated 9-11. You're going to ask them for favors. <laughs> What do you think? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Attention. Renew is currently seeking participants who are dealing with stress and unhappiness. If you are experiencing one or more of the following symptoms, you are eligible to participate in the trial and receive a free two-week supply of the mood-boosting supplement, Renew. To be eligible, your symptoms may include fatigue, hopelessness, tension, negative mood, anxiety, or lack of sleep. Renew is an all-natural, doctor-recommended supplement that will help boost your mood and give you more energy right away. Renew has been featured on Oprah and The View and has already helped over a million people feel better naturally. Now you are eligible to participate in the free trial if you or someone you know are experiencing symptoms of stress and unhappiness. Call now to participate in the trial and receive a free two-week supply of Renew. To participate in the Renew trial and get a free supply, call 1-800-553-7444. 1-800-553-7444. Call 1-800-553-7444. 1-800-553-7444. 
gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Free Talk Live. For the listeners, each talk show has like a, you're in the Joe Blow Army. Or, you know, the Ditto Heads. Do the lefties have it too? The I, I couldn't tell you. Ed Heads, isn't it? Yep, Ed Heads. Yeah, yeah Ed Heads. So they all have them. I, I really want I'd to like hear to from rename you. our uh, listeners uh, Mindless Free Talk Live Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? The free call Talk in, Live Automatons. Call in if you're a Mindless Free Talk Live Zombie. What does it mean to you to be left? What does it mean to you Progressive. to be right what does it mean to you to be conservative what does it mean to you to be liberal i think they're very vague concepts that hit people against one another many people who otherwise in the absence of being able to plaster themselves with that label might find out they've got an awful lot in common free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733, or you can call us on Skype. We've got the Skype lines open. Our username is lrn.fm, and all you have to do is send us a user request there, and we'll approve you, usually within one segment, and then you can call us. That's um, lrn.fm on Skype, or 855-450-3733. And we're all going to a Bitcoin party. Yeah. Uh, the very first of October. It's oh, the, boy. Mickey Mouse is going to be there, too. <laughs> so I hear. <laughs> Indeed. He's at uh, Walt Disney World, and we're going to go visit him at uh, Coins in the Kingdom. And there'll be lots of folks from the Bitcoin community there. So lots of, uh, you know, you'll be able to learn about Bitcoins, network with Bitcoin folks, uh, party with Bitcoin folks. It'll be a lot of fun. Just uh, actually got got a message from one of them. They want to get uh, my head shot. I just uh, talked to MK Lords from Bitcoin Not Bombs and Coins in the Kingdom. She'll be there along with Jeffrey Tucker from Liberty.me, Charlie Shrim. You have some great pictures with your teeth looking totally white from My Magic Mud. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I'll tell you about My Magic Mud later. Um, Will Pangman. And where is Will from? I can't say that word. Oh, it's Topeki. That's the company he's with. What do they do? 
Um, Tapiki is like an accounting software that you can use with Bitcoin, but it's like encrypted and it has more privacy features. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, there you go. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Tickets are 60 bucks. Hotel rooms, $99. Kids under 12 are free. It's October 4th, 5th, and 6th at the Magic Kingdom, the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney. Funds mandatory. Come celebrate Magic Internet money at the Magic Kingdom. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Let's go to... Brad, calling in on Skype. Brad, you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. What's in your mind? Oh, I was just calling on that last call about 9-11 and what should we do about it. I think we should go after people like Lucky Larry Silverstein and Who's George Lucky? Bush. Okay. And Who's Larry Silverstein? He's the uh, owner of the building. That- okay was there doing all the construction work when it got wired to get bombed. Okay, so I guess my question is, is I, I understand, and, and believe me, 9-11, in a very real sense, ruined my life. Uh, it is It caused me to want to go into the military, uh, which was the worst decision, one of the worst decisions I could ever make um, because I was wanting revenge for what happened in 9-11. Uh, you know, so certainly, you know, I take the events that happened there pretty personally. But like, again, I, I don't I don't really know what people expect to occur. I mean, like, say, say you put George Bush in jail. You know, like th- that's not that's not justice. You know, I, I don't it's not realistic. No, it's not realistic <laughs> either. But I mean, I just I don't know what people expect to get from, you know, pushing so hard on the 9-11, uh, you know, tr- say, truth issue. Well, I expect to see justice done. But all right, So what I does that look like? Do you want to see justice done or do you expect to see justice done? Well, that's what I want. Okay. I'd like to see George Bush hang for what he did. And well, also at that point, Larry what, Silverstein. You, you, we won't know until we have a trial, right? Um, that, well, let's have a trial then. I, I, I got gotcha. you. And then at that point, um, wealthy lawyers will battle it out and likely we won't get the truth because what we have seen in this country generally is that wealthy people do quite well um, at trials versus the rest of us who don't. Yeah, well, that's a good point. But Yeah, I still. guess what I what I want to you know, what I want what I, I want to express to you is that I think if people need the quote unquote proof of government involvement in you know what occurred on 9/11 2001 um, if they don't see what the government does on a daily basis and that doesn't prove it to them i have little hope that people finding out that some you know some very nefarious actions were were uh, enacted by the us government uh, on that date would change anything and so I wonder if there isn't better ways we could better ways to educate people uh, or better things that we could do with our time and our money, especially when what do they spend three million dollars to get that uh, that that Times Square oh, advertisement billboard. billboard advertisement about, you know, saying, you know, look into 9-11 truth and all this stuff. Yeah. I just I would think there'd be so much more to do, because, again, I mean, every single day the government is doing B.S., you know, yeah, really with, evil things. Yeah, it's really right there evil in front stuff. of everybody's yeah. face. Yeah, and so I just, I, you know, I understand your frustration. Believe me, I do. Uh, but I just, I don't know that this is the most fruitful or effective thing uh, for all of us to get the real justice that we need. And not just the justice for us, but for justice for people all around the world. You know, when I was in the military, I saw so many very innocent, uh, you know, foreign people die that, that did not have to. And they need it, too. And, and George Bush hanging is, not in my opinion, is not justice. Well, you make some good points and all, but still, I I can't let this go. I mean, well, you know, there's been some, some years. people are still remembering the hood too. What's the hood? It's uh, some ship that got sunk. I think oh, that that I was the Spanish American oh, War. Talking about the uh, USS Liberty. I don't know some some boat out there. It was a boat that Israelis attacked. No, not that one. Not in your lifetime. <laughs> Well, it wasn't in my life. Well, some people are still obsessed with the JFK uh, shooting and, you know. So it, am I. Yeah, okay. So, I'm, I mean, there, wasn't that basically proven that the people who were kind of considered conspiracy theorists were actually right all along? Somebody came out on their deathbed and nothing really changed after that occurred. Yeah, but there's no reason to stop trying. Well, there is because if you're, 
you know, continually thinking about it's it and spending you, spending is. your energy on it, what else could you be doing if you weren't doing that stuff? You know, maybe you'd, you'd be happier, you'd live longer. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know if I would be. Appreciate the call, Brad. Thank you so much. 855-450-3733. Some people will say that the uh, 9-11 truth conspiracy and other conspiracy theories will bring people to the ideas of liberty because if they blame the government, um, then, th- you know, they're, they, they're a good choice for um, liberty, for the ideas of liberty. But it also cuts both ways, right, Brian? Yeah, I mean, I just... This is the thing. The 9-11 truth movement is what actually got me into the like got me into the military because, you know, I'm, I'm ethnically and I want please. I want this to be very, very clear. I am ethnically Jewish. OK. And I had some family members die on 9-11. OK. And uh, I wanted some serious revenge and I couldn't believe it when I was walking on the streets of New York City when I when I saw 9-11 truthers saying the Jews were behind all this. They all you know, took the, the day off. They took right? the day off. None of them died in the trade centers, you know, and all this crap. And I was like, what is this? It's like, no, you know, and, and what I felt I had to do. So your Jewish family didn't get the Jewish memo to uh, not go in? Yeah, the- yeah. I guess they, they missed the memo. They didn't get the email. You know, someone blocked it. It was so insane. And so I said, no, I'll prove to you that we're not, you know, that Jews aren't against this country or something like that. And so I joined the military and I went over there. And it was the, one of the most damaging things to ever happen to me. Let's go to the phone's. Sleepy Salsa. Um, Sleepy Salsa, you're on Free Talk Live on Skype. Hey, thanks for bringing me on. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I heard you folks, and apparently I think something that's kind of been overlooked is uh, something that the government doesn't really uh, want uh, people to know about, and only a couple of voluntarists have mentioned it, but it's apparently a legal process, more or less vernacularly known as unregistering from the voter rolls. Let's hear about this. Uh, Just hold the line if you would. And give us a call at 855-450-3733. I'm curious about that. Yeah, me too. 855-450-FREE. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. If you're struggling to pay or haven't been making your student loan payments, listen carefully to this urgent alert. Have you been out of school for 10 or more years and you're still making your student loan payments? Are your student loans past due or even in default? Can't go back to school because of an old student loan problem? Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. One quick 10-minute call could help you solve your student loan problems. So call right now. Not available in all states. Payments may vary based on income. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 
493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about anything you want to talk about on this live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. How and, do I protect myself on the internet? Well, you know, that, that phone number you just gave is the ProXPN toll-free call-in line, and that's what you want to use. If you, this Listen, this is step one to getting your digital privacy back because it's been taken from you, be it by, you know, government agencies, bad actors, employers, ISPs, you take your pick because everything that ProXPN does gets done client side, which means before it gets to anything else, any other hardware out there, it gets done on your machine. That's why you want their service. Uh, ProXPN, it's a VPN service, virtual private network okay and this is easy to install it's incredibly easy it works you know it's kind of like apple always says we want it to be like magic believe me this is very much like magic okay and it works on it works on everything it works on your tablet your smartphone it works on windows linux os x you take your pick it's available for it it's real simple software to download install you put your username password and up you go and suddenly everything you're doing your data metadata is all being encrypted with some of the best encryption out there using open vpn as its back end this is the real deal okay you want this you want to go to proxpn.com and download it. You can try it first if you want, but believe me, you're going to want to get the premium account. That way you can use all the servers and you could even do torrenting. I recommend using the Netherlands server if you want to do torrenting uh, due to various legal situations. It will really cover your butt. Okay, so, and use the code FTL50. If you're going to, if you're going to get the premium, use the code, use the code FTL50. Uh, and you'll get 50% off the price of an annual account. Or if you want to use Bitcoin, be really anonymous and use Bitcoin, right? Uh, you know that you'll get 62% off if you use the code FTLBTC. So take your pick, FTL50 or FTLBTC if you're going to use Bitcoin. But go to ProXPN.com and take your privacy back. Let's go back to Skype and back to Sleepy Salsa. Sleepy Salsa, you on Free Talk Live. Yes, hi. Um, well, I mean, I was hearing you folks before the break mentioning about, like, what can we do to appeal to people? How do we spread... Uh, the message of liberty and so forth. Well, I think what's kind of important to first understand is that there are a lot of, uh, the list of grievances is long and varied, I think would be more than fair to say. On, against whom? Oh, uh, this this enemy rebel government that claims to dictatorially want to control every single aspect of your life from cradle to grave, I think would be the uh, best place to start and really All right. focus on. So in terms of spreading the message of liberty, in terms of really teaching and most importantly, living the philosophy of liberty, I think what's kind of important is to present people with options. Remember, I mean, like the free market, it's all about uh, it's all about having that selection, you know, pleasing the customer and so forth. Sure. And I think one option among many that I've been able to find is uh, something more of a it's more of a legal procedure, but it's uh, vernacularly been referred to as unregistering for, from the voter rolls. 
Um, now, obviously, one would have to check one's state statutes, and I know you, uh, you good uh, free staters up there would have to look at New Hampshire's RSAs to see whether it's possible there. As um, I understand I, it, it's not particularly easy to do. Uh, act, people, that's not correct. That is not correct. Well, I mean, um, I, I'm just telling you what my experience here is, is that people have... Have you tried to do it, Mark? I have not. Uh, my experience listening to people who have tried to do this. Okay. Uh, Russell Canning, an activist that was here, attempted to do it, and basically they told him, nope, we don't have a system for that. We don't have a form for that. Yeah, sorry, no form. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get there from here. Honestly, this is something I would like to do. <laughs> so how do you, so what's the process? I mean, it may be different from place to place, but what's the basic process? Sure. And it depends, it depends on what the statutes are under whichever state government you are. So I can only speak as far as Texas goes, because that that's where I'm kind of stuck at the moment. But it's in the Texas election code. Specifically, I believe the reference was section 16.013A and 16.036, and maybe a few of the other uh, sections roughly around there, but it's in the Texas Election Code. They, The government here refers to it as canceling your voter registration, and they pretty much laid it out very simply. And I said, wow, you know, uh, you know, I kind of have a problem with this government, and I don't really want to consent to it anymore, so maybe this could be possibly a way of even if only symbolically, but it's it's still an official legal procedure, and so I decided to test it, and I did this last year. And uh, I sent a letter off to the voter registrar for the county where I originally registered when I was foolish enough to do that, because I still believed in the system. I still believe in reformism. And We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I disagree sure, entirely okay. with the foundation of your premise, but I, I, I'm interested in you unregistering. In, term, in terms of the, okay, fine. In terms of the method, then, I got a letter back from the voter registrar, and it said, uh, notice of cancellation. Uh, it said a bunch of things, but at the very beginning, it says, dear voter, near, uh, notice is hereby given that your voter registration has been canceled in, it says name of county, on April 10th of 2013. And it's then it goes weird on. that they would address you as voter yeah. after you just unregistered. You should, you <laughs> should a, sue them dear for non -voter. slander. <laughs> Don't but, uh, call me I, that. It's probably <laughs> all in a Microsoft Word template. That's that's yeah. probably why. <laughs> uh, but I, I proved it could work, and I've been, uh, admittedly, I've been bragging to many of my friends about it and telling them, now I can't say about the other 49 states of the union, but I can say about Texas anyway. There's also apparently a tangential benefit I found out last week when I was doing, um, when I was learning more about jury nullification, which I know a lot of you good folks like to uh, spread the good word about up there in uh, New Hampshire. And apparently, um, I was able to contact the uh, federal government, and they told me that when they, uh, when they are putting people on the jury wheel, they only draw from the voter registration lists of the, of the several state governments. They do not tap into or consider anyone on the lists uh, who still maintain a driver's license. Because remember, the several state, many of the several state governments, Texas I know for certain, um, basically takes the list from uh, DPS, which is basically the DMV equivalent. So well, I, the driver's license I'm confused. Database. Does that mean they um, that unregistering to vote means that you will not be able to serve on it? You will not have the not on a federal jury, right? That, not on a federal jury, no. So I'm free of that. I am free. That's well, awesome. Assuming they told me the truth. Assuming they told me the truth, I am free of that. Now, if it was uh, Texas, because I still maintain my driver's license, unfortunately, because it is an infringement on my right to travel. Um, they can grab me and throw me on the jury wheel just for that alone. Now, of course, as, as far as folks who understand, like, fight is literature and all that, uh, the jury wheel, you know, spins you around and then it just spits out names and then you get a summons. And then that's where the coercion of the government comes in with threatening you with so fines. So you, you like jury nullification, but you're happy that you're not going to be able to help somebody who might be charged with an immoral charge? You have to keep in mind that the libertarian position, as far as juries go, has always been split, right? Because you have the FIGA position, which has always been, you know, get on a jury and nullify, right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas the other position, which I'm kind of surprised almost nobody mentions, is the polar opposite, was actually Murray Rothbard's position, which was that he viewed jury duty, uh, not nullification, but jury duty as a type of, um, I mean, yes, he said it in Foreign New Liberty, indentured servitude. Yeah, that's what I, it is. Yeah, it, in totally fact, with you that's that. the <laughs> position I take, and I've gotten... Uh, I've gotten flack for it. <laughs> I'll give you flack over it. So um, I go ahead, Mark. I mean, do you say, want to conscript me to be on a jury against my will? Well, I mean, in in forty nine states, they tell me I have to wear a seatbelt. In New Hampshire, they don't because I'm an adult and I don't have to wear it. But I wear it in all fifty states because I don't wish to die. Um, so it doesn't to me 
particularly matter whether it's something I'm forced into doing or not doing. For me, it's about something I want to do or not do. But what if not everybody wants to be on a jury? Like Indeed. I, I would rather be uh, helping take care of myself financially to support myself. And I'm not interested in at a at a loss to me paying money to get gas, drive two hours to this courthouse, show up at eight in the morning, which is an hour I never see, uh, being on the self-employed schedule because I work at night. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm I'm just not interested in doing that. I don't think you have any obligation to, but I think that there's this um uh, this cultural give and take that goes on that if you want help from people, you need to lend help. So. It, any one of us can end up in the clutches of these uh, these these power hungry people for whatever v- variety you know more laws than what anyone can read in four it's lifetimes. True. Any one of us can end up there. I personally would like somebody who wants to nullify my jury because it's not going to be a crime with a victim in my in in all likelihood. So a victimless crime. I would like them to nullify that. And if no one's there, it's to not do the only it, way to help someone. I'm not claiming you can, it is. You can the help only way someone help. outside of the jury duty system. But it's a real rubber hits the road opportunity to help someone. Like right there. There are opportunities whizzing by all the time. Uh, indeed. Just whether you grab I think them or not. salsa showed a great piece of freedom everybody could go after. I love I the call. I think salsa yep. farted in a jar. Um, you know, congratulations. What? You've you got, got all away. the rules. Instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports. Sports and outdoors, toys, games, used, and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Oh, fall. A time for cooler temperatures and hot deals from America's Best Value Inn. Save 15% when you book a room online at americasbestvaluein.com and stay now through October 23rd. Plus, you'll enjoy free continental breakfast, internet, and instant rewards through our Value Club at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Fall into savings this season at America's Best Value Inn. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, proflowers.com is the key. Pro Flowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 Blooms for $19.99. Plus, Pro Flowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. Live Sunday night edition of Free Talk Live. The gauntlet has been thrown. The bell has been rung. <laughs> it's three shiftless agorists against our hero, Mark Edge. <laughs> Defending? Shiftless? Who shiftless. you call it shiftless? I probably make more money than you. <laughs> I wouldn't it. <laughs> Go ahead. Read I'm an advertisement <laughs> from one of the guys that I brought on board. Yeah. <laughs> call me shiftless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Read one of mine here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. That'll give you a little energy. <laughs> coffee.freetalklive.com. When you order from, get your coffee there. Um, that's uh, 100% organic, shade grown, top 1% grade Arabica beans. You also are helping people around the world. As Stephanie's idea that we uh, switched to, to Kiva. Well, Mark, I have to give you credit for that because you and you originally introduced me to Kiva back in 2009, and since then I've made uh, multiple loans on Kiva. They've all been paid back, and uh, I feel pretty good yeah, about it's that. It's really great. It's really great service. And I uh, think that helps people more than me being on a jury. Actually, I, I wouldn't. I don't. <laughs> I, I think it helps more people more, but I think that that one person needs some help too. <laughs> yes, anyway. They do. 855-450-3733. I'm sorry, I totally interrupted you. Sorry, go to coffee.freetalklive.com right. and get yeah. your hands and on some you great can coffee. Help, uh, people get loans on That's Eva right. and get great coffee. That's right. Let's go back to Sleepy Salsa. So I was gave gave uh, Sleepy Salsa a good stinging on the way out and said that <laughs> I really don't think that this unregistering from the voting rolls, besides um, when it comes to uh, jury duty, I can see that. I mean, if you really don't want to help anybody who's been charged with a victimless crime, you can get off a of jury duty by— You don't want to help them in that particular way. Yeah, when they need it the most. Um, if you don't want to help them when they need it the most, then you can get out of no, the- no, no. I think there's a third option that's or a third part that's getting misconstrued and not considered when it comes to this jury duty thing. You know, there's the. I totally agree with Salsa about the fact that you know, with Murray Rothbard's point, that it is uh, in a way it's conscription. I have not argued that point. No, it is right. conscription. Right. So is making someone. So wear it's a okay. So right. it's okay to be conscripted into something as long no. as it, it's a good deed. Okay. No. 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 All right. Here. Look. Listen, uh, now let's compare this to Comcast. If Comcast gives you terrible service, what do you do? Um, do you keep using them? Uh, well, I mean, ultimately, no. Yeah, not if you can help it. Yeah. Okay, you're not going to. Now, look, who likes to go and do jury duty? Nobody does. But if, if this... Comcast came and kidnapped one of my friends and all I had to do was show up one day and listen to somebody yammer on and then I could get my friend free, I might do that. Right, but if you keep taking part in that, you are not sending the signal to the system that this is a crap way of getting justice. That and the, signal no, isn't because working, they're, What Brian? are they paying you, $10? That's because people are doing it out of like some kind of cr- I don't know why they're even they're still doing, doing it because yeah. they're bored because it's involuntary servitudes why why they're doing it some people but, go because they have to some people go because they're nosy some people go to rescue folks well you don't want I don't want two out of those three agree and in fact there's in fact and only the lawyers one of those, the lawyers want the yeah. ones that are uh, nosy right only one <laughs> yeah, of agreed. the people there's probably a lot more than just three different types of people out of all the different types of people that you could possibly have going to a jury and there's plenty of them the only one I'd want is the one that wants to rescue somebody but they are in such a small minority I would much rather get they the message get out juries. there. I would much rather get the message out there to say, look, this whole jury thing, we got to we got to send the message out there that this is a bad service or at least people should get paid a whole hell of a lot more for for doing it and no yeah. one's talking about it in that way that this is a crap service that we should be boycotting, not getting involved in and trying to rescue people with because honestly, if the person if the it's state not a service, to, Brian, yeah, it's a service. It's a it's, government service. It's, right? not, it's, a it's not a service. <laughs> it, it's kidnapping in many cases and um you know you then can try all, to rescue somebody or not all the more reason 
to not want to be a part of it yeah, if it's a kidnapping. It, Brian, I completely agree with you. Thank you for that. But it's Mark, like at walking least... over a wallet that you found on the, the sidewalk. You have no moral obligation to None pick it whatsoever. up and return no, it to it's somebody. Not, but... It's not like walking over a wallet. It's like uh, it's like crossing over a moat to uh, walk over the wallet. And I, I mean, because there's a cost involved. There in going is. To it's a lot duty. of work to save somebody from a victimless crime. And many people aren't worth the trouble. However, I would there's love There's no it. guarantee that it's even a victimless crime. There's no. No, there's not. In which there's case, no guarantee that you're even going to get on the jury. Nope. None of that. It's it's a lottery. There's no doubt. But it's there a is a guarantee that you're going to uh, sacrifice your personal principles. No guarantee of that. I've never oh, been yeah. called for jury duty. <laughs> you know, I got a letter. Well, um, I, I got called for jury duty once, and the letter noted that I had to dress a certain way with decorum. I wasn't allowed to wear tank tops. And this was uh, in June, so, and I was right, And you were going to wear your pasties. Show up in July. So, right. And so, <laughs> pasties, yeah, real cute. Porcupine pasties. <laughs> salsa we've been and talking about. I'm going to go fart you. in a jar like you accuse Salsa of doing. Is he there no, still? No. Okay. Yeah. No. It, no. It's it's great. And and yes, there's kind of the old joke uh, Sam Conkin mentioned back in '85 in Los Angeles, where when you get a bunch of libertarians in a room, you know, everyone's got as many definitions of libertarianism as there are libertarians and so forth. But no, I th I think it's good and healthy uh, because that's how you have a free marketplace of ideas, and you know, compare and contrast and kind of go from there. Um, something else too. Uh, but what have you done by unregistering from the voting rolls? disallowing uh, sort of jury conversation from the, the topic? Like, what's well, the point? Well, well, okay. Well, you don't actually, get those annoying political mailers either. Please. That's another thing. Everybody gets well, them. <laughs> well, in terms of, um, I, again, I only found out about the jury duty thing pretty much like last week. Um, so, and that, and I did this like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason I was doing it was, and it's still something I'm slowly working on and, and learning about is, it kind of goes back to the consent of the governed. And the first question you have to ask is, is the consent of the governed collective or individual? Now, obviously, if the answer turned out to be collective, then we're kind of screwed in a lot of ways. However, if the answer is that it's the individual consent to be governed. This is what the their ruling question, documents often will say that government here in New Hampshire is derived go government from, of, from of the government of right state. comes from the consent of the governed. And I, for one, do not give the state of New Hampshire the right to govern me, govern me. Um, but I do, when given the opportunity. Uh, vote in their elections uh, to make one small, you know, drop uh, my little see, pebble. That's where I, I see where you're wrong, Mark. Well, I mean, you and I are equally governed by the state of New Hampshire and I vote and you don't. So you can't claim that voting is somehow consent um, or not consent. Well, it's it's hard to argue that, oh, I'm not giving them my moral support, but I am going to participate in their game. It's not moral support. People, you know, I'm not voting for their uh, for their laws. I'm voting against their laws. But you're still participating in their game. Like, is freedom ever on the ballot, Mark? Um, freedom is sometimes <laughs> on the ballot when you have very freedom-oriented really? candidates. Uh, when it, the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance endorses somebody with an A-plus, freedom is on the ballot. Assuming the, the correct answer was individual consent of the government, then the next fo the follow-up question then becomes, what is the nexus that determines what is the legal standard of proof that determines that consent for, to be governed. I mean, what, what's the standard? And I've seen all sorts of answers that uh, may be true, maybe not, and it's still something I'm still trying, trying to evaluate, but the unregistering from the voter rolls seems to, quite frankly, be, if not uh, the total answer, and I don't think it is the total answer because I'm still licensed to drive and there's uh, things more along those ends with infringing on the right to travel and so forth, uh, then therefore there must be something else. I've heard other people suggest that maybe it's the citizenship itself that might possibly be the nexus. And well, for come example, on. You know as well as I do that the government doesn't recognize their documents. They don't look at these things and say, oh, well, he doesn't give us his consent. Well, I guess we can't rule over him. Well, I wasn't allowed to vote in, in Florida. I'm disallowed from voting in Florida now. If I move back to Florida, I'm not allowed to vote. I'm a convicted felon. I'm too dangerous to vote in Florida. Believe me. They aren't allowing me to opt out of their system. Well, why don't you have to abide by the laws of Brazil? Or because I don't live in the geographic uh, landmass known as Brazil, and the governments that we have are evolved from fiefdoms and kingdoms and duchies and uh, baronies and these well, sorts of things just, that own land. I mean, that's, land. this is actually a great point, though. I mean, if you really don't want to give your consent, I suppose you could always go permanent traveler. You know, yeah. just keep... some people have tried. Some people have tried going more the. Um, I can't think of the exact legal term, but yes, Stephanie, uh, there is more that route, kind of like what some 
uh, of the American Indians were originally before mm-hmm. they became uh, like either BIA Indians or whatever. Actually, the traditionals are actually still that way too. Where oh denizen that's yeah denizen yeah denizen. exactly so that is one approach some people have had success with that some people have what not. kind of success it does require- well you don't uh, have to pay taxes mixed. I mean you just yeah. you can go and you live- can choose not to pay taxes anyway no, you know millions what? of people in America don't. don't you know or you, you could know salsa opted out of could, voting you could be a poverteryan too <laughs> not pay salsa had said at the beginning of his call that even if it's just symbolic and honestly I think that's reason enough because if we change our minds which is where all change has nobody to start, likes jury no, no, duty no no hold on if we change our minds and stop thinking about ourselves as the we the United States okay by getting out of these voter rolls I think that's very very powerful in and of itself yeah, I agree. to deregister. It I probably makes huge. the most difference to you. And I oh, yeah, that's the only one it made a difference to. <laughs> you can put the lid on the jar and but say that's, But isn't that what matters? Th- it is what Mark. matters. <laughs> wow. Sleepy thanks You're for the out call. Of control tonight. Great call, 450 Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, September 14th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.64 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,229 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $479. Antiwar.com reports, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider Abadi has announced that he is ordering the immediate halt to all Iraqi airstrikes against ISIS-held cities, towns, and villages, and any place else which might cause civilian casualties. The move was in response to offers by Sunni Arab tribal leaders in the region to back the Iraqi military's offensive against ISIS territory, provided they stop killing civilians in the Sunni-dominated region. What this means for Iraq's own air campaign is unclear, as the Air Force has been short on Hellfire missiles, pending a new shipment from the U.S., and has mostly seemed to back off its air campaign once the U.S. began their own. Which is another major question, as the Obama administration is prepared to dramatically ratchet up airstrikes in ISIS-held Iraq in the coming days, and will likely not consider itself bound by a body's decision not to attack civilian areas. Yet, it's undeniable that U.S. airstrikes on ISIS towns could easily undermine the Iraqi 
Iraqi efforts to secure tribal support for the war, meaning it could be an early source of tension between the U.S. and Iraqi governments in the new war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Reuters reports, hundreds of firefighters spent a second day on Saturday battling a wildfire burning out of control in a national forest southeast of Los Angeles as the region baked under triple-digit temperatures that prompted authorities to issue a heat alert. The so-called Silverado Fire, which broke out in the Cleveland National Forest on Friday morning, had charred some 1,600 acres by Saturday afternoon as it burned through brush and chaparral left bone dry by California's record drought. Evacuation orders were issued for more than 200 homes in and around Silverado Canyon as some 740 firefighters worked to gain a measure of control over the flames, assisted by 10 water-dropping helicopters and five fixed-wing aircraft, according to the U.S. Forest Service. The heat wave has sent temperatures soaring over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in parts of Southern California. The sweltering heat prompted Los Angeles health officials to issue a heat alert for the weekend. Dr. Jeffrey Gusenheimer, the city's interim health director, said some 60 cooling centers would be open at libraries, recreation centers, and other community buildings throughout the weekend, offering shelter to residents suffering from the oppressive heat. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. UPI reports, a man is suing the Arapahoe County Jail and its contracted health care company after most of his right foot was amputated due to infected blisters. James Neisler was serving a sentence in the Arapahoe County Jail last year after a series of charges, including domestic abuse and drunk driving. Neisler, who is diabetic, said that while he was in a work release program, he was forced to haul heavy kitchen supplies for hours despite swollen feet and orders from a nurse not to stand for more than two hours. He also said that his shoes did not fit properly. When blisters on his feet began bleeding and oozing, he wrote a series of letters pleading for medical care. Neisler was told to be patient and that an appointment would be scheduled. By the time Neisler was checked into Denver Health Medical Center on August 22nd of last year, after other inmates began complaining of the stench, doctors had to remove all five toes and most of his right foot. In May, Neisler filed a lawsuit against the Arapahoe County Jail and correctional health care companies, the medical provider contracted to the jail. He is seeking compensation for physical and emotional damages and to recoup medical expenses. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The zebra of the plains is perpetually hunted by a myriad of merciless predators. With no purpose other than to feed monsters, the zebra spends its entire life standing around awaiting a violent death. They are nature's ultimate prey. The zebra paces the earth, patiently going through the motions of life, knowing that at any moment it will end in a sudden shock of pain and brutality. With its black and white stripes serving as an ostentatious beacon to any nearby predators, the zebra whiles away its time before gruesome elimination. Zebra, wait on the pantry shelf that is the African plain before something finds it and, at last, remembers to eat it. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can give us a call, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. We're lrn.fm on Skype. That makes you happier. 
It's uh, Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. All live on this Sunday edition of Free Talk Live, taking your calls. And we do this, have done this for 12 years or something that Free Talk Live's been around. November 2002, right? November 2002 sounds right. And you can go get many of our archives. I don't think everything's up at uh, archives.freetalklive.com. A lot of it's there. Many years worth are at archives.freetalklive.com. Completely free for you. Other hot talk show hosts, they want to charge you for it. Not Free Talk Live. We give it away for free. If you go back far enough, you can say, I knew Mark way back when he was Manwich. That's right. <laughs> I used to have a uh, nom de plume on the air. <laughs> Not that it's a nom de plume. What is air? Nom de vox. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's go to Pizza Guy calling in from Fargo. Pizza Guy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? All's well. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, so I was having an awesome conversation with my wife last night. Uh, we get drunk pretty much every night and have pretty awesome conversations. <laughs> well, um, they always seem better when both people are drunk. Yeah, yeah it's certainly better than one of them. Uh, seem. <laughs> That's right. Well, <laughs> After this, we'll talk about 12-step programs, but go ahead. <laughs> You know, she doesn't have any of that Western hang-up on uh, alcohol being bad. Right. So, you know, <laughs> over to Japan, they'll start drinking at, like, 11, which is crazy. Um, but, yeah, that's what I wanted to go about. Uh, and I was thought, you know, I'm a total dove uh, to the point of being a pacifist. Not really. I mean, I think, the, you know, I think the world we have today is so violent that uh, my positions look like pacifism, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a pacifist, but more or less I look like one. Anyway, I was talking about how horrible and atrocious all the murders and all the death of war and all that stuff is. And she asked me just how bad it was. So I Googled some numbers, and that's kind of what I wanted to share. Is I was actually kind of surprised. Okay. Uh, um, it would seem that uh, murder and, and intentional homicide is something like half a million a, a year. All right. And um, war is less than that. Yeah, as I understand, war uh, is um, a quarter of murder, as I get it. And as heart I, diseases, millions. Well, um, demis, if you include the deaths caused by the state, which is includes, um, you know, like, you know, inside governments killing them, their own citizens and governments killing other other. Uh, people, other countries' people, um, then you'll, what you'll find is, is in the 20th century that the state killed more people than pretty much any single cause like heart disease or... This um, is the University of Hawaii study, yeah, I on believe. Yeah, democide is the, the word to look for. But as I understand, murders, uh, you know, about four times what, um, you know, state killing is. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, my numbers showed it was it was roughly just a little over half. It was half a million and then 300,000 a year. But in the scale okay. of like a billion people or 7 billion people, that's like just about uh less than 2 tenths of a percent. Yeah, it's I mean, supposedly this is the most peaceful time on the planet. If you can believe that, um, that uh, violent crime is going down and that war, even war, isn't killing as many people as it did, um, you know, all throughout human history. It's amazing to think, but supposedly it's true. Well, it brings it brings these numbers to me. Uh, I mean, any death is horrific, in my opinion, but um, it, and is unacceptable. Yeah, but, all tragedies are a single tragedy. Sure. But uh, but what it brings to mind for me is the fact because so many people call, you know, especially when you talk about wanting to either eliminate or replace government and government services or whatever uh you know they're like well what about the what about the killers what about all these people i mean really how many how many people out there are really like that evil these numbers would show by the percentage not that many oh hold, hold on and let's not forget that um you know most killers you know like they're people who um are you know in your family you're most likely to be killed by the portion you're, you're 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 most intimate with, sure, and then it goes, and then the numbers go down as you uh, talk about well, different family members. Yeah, I mean, right. That's another story about you know most crimes are a crime of passion. They're so one offs. But your, the state's not going to protect you against that. No, right. It, it wouldn't. But that's the thing. It's like how many really, and I hate to use this phrase, but how many really like sick people are out there? I think statistically, very few. Yep, I would agree. Pizza Guy, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Let's go to. Well, we can do Skype. Let's go to Jimmy. Hello, how y'all doing? What's going? <laughs> What's going on, Jimmy? 
Hey, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to my Bible study partner. <laughs> uh, we don't really do shout outs here on Free Talk Live. Oh, but... even, even to Pugnacious Pete. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you went to Bible school with Pugnacious Pete? We got Bible study, you know, every every Saturday, me and him. And uh, Do you go way back? Though. Have you yeah. known, oh, yeah. known him for a while? <laughs> years. He's a wonderful fellow. We got a question, though, and I figured y'all... Uh, Y'all know a lot about that Bible, and uh, yeah, actually, is is the Bible says Satan knows the book better than Christians do. So it says that. It uh, well, I don't know that it says that, but that's kind of a belief. Actually, I, I'm not going to say whether I do know or not, because then I'd incriminate myself. Oh God, you're not well, Satan. I want to <laughs> give it. I want to give a shout out to Satan too. Then <laughs> thank you. I mean, I yeah, well, that's very. Oh God. So uh, well, uh, you know, I'll read myself uh, my kids. Uh, Bible stories before they go to bed, and I know that Bible pretty well, but uh, I've been trying to find a story in there, and I wasn't sure if y'all knew where it was. Now, there's a story where Jesus, he, he has to grow like a magic beanstalk so he can go and like kill a giant that's living in the clouds, and I don't know where to find that story. Um, in this, in this, in that story, Jesus is called Jack, and it's one of those uh, mistranslations. And usually, it's one of those books that didn't in- get included in the main Bible. It's an so apocryphal text. It's an apocryphal text, and you'll have to go look for Jack and the Beanstalk. It's not Jesus and the Bean. I think you're wrong, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark's wrong too, Jimmy. <laughs> God bless y'all, and. Uh, Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call, Jimmy. I, you know, I mean, well, there's another I, one. Saint wants, George and the w- Dragon didn't get included in the uh, in, in the Bible, but it's a, what they uh, one of the Catholic apocryphal texts. That's He's got to read that story to Jar Jar and Grammaton. Yeah, and his kids. The Saint kids, George yeah. thing is actually really interesting because I've never read it. Well, th- the interesting thing is that you know this is about a guy slaying a dragon, and in Britain, as I understand it, like. You know, Britain, British Christians just accept that as so, that there were dragons that walked the earth not that long ago. Uh, and it does make you wonder. Have you been watching David Icke videos, Brian? You know, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I always, I tend to err on the side of science whenever science is presented. Yeah. Um, and I like National Geographic as the, their timeline as to what's uh, sort of occurred. However, when you watch the, the, the sort of Christian videos that say, hey, you know, how implausible is it that they, you know, maybe they just don't have this carbon dating thing right and we've just been getting false readings all along and that, uh, you know, dinosaurs were around in the Middle Ages. What's the big deal? And, you know, when you think of the Loch Ness Monster, it's like, could a plesiosaur be up in uh, some lake in Scotland? Well, yeah. you know what I find funny about that is now Scotland's talking about getting independence, and suddenly now there's new pictures of the Loch Ness monster. Are there? And yeah, this I'm gonna have is, to look at them. Yeah, they're they're pretty interesting. Is the Yeti fake writing it? until proven otherwise? Hey, I, hey, I don't know if you want to run that <laughs> All way. All the but, other ones, but are it's fascinating. Fake. Suddenly, this creature starts appearing again, and Britain's like, "Oh yeah, Scotland, can go right ahead and declare independence. That's fine with us." So, what, well, then what I kind of like this. From this? <laughs> <laughs> there's one that's supposedly in Vermont too, in Lake Champlain. Well, yeah, it's called you, Champ. Once, once you, uh, once somebody else makes it work, then you just got to copy them. There's no, there's no plesiosaur in Champlain. But- <laughs> well, they claim there's a time portal between Loch Ness and no, Lake no, no. The gravity changes at a certain point. Wait, <laughs> I can go for a plesiosaur. I cannot go for a time portal. What kind of fool do you think I take me for? So, um, you know, in Florida, we had to have. Hey, well, no, no. Look, it happened to me. You can't disprove it. <laughs> it did not happen in, to you in florida um we needed bigfoot so we called it the skunk ape right and so they just <laughs> you know these different areas just kind of add these things along look i like the stories about bigfoot as much as anybody and i'm gonna go just go ahead and say that look is it what is the name of gigante anyway there's this gigantopithecus is that what it is the the, the human the, 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 the humanoid large ape yes homo something yeah, I, I say yeah. it's still around but just for for kicks i like the idea of it yeah, I think Yetis are real. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Oh boy. Stephanie? <laughs> I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase... 
10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book. And it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenevention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenevention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenevention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Live Sunday edition of the show. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Loch Ness Monster. I mean, Stephanie. Free. <laughs> <laughs> 855 That was Bigfoot over there doing a <laughs> surprise like appearance. <laughs> you know, I was going through the woods over the weekend, um, last weekend, not this weekend. And you I saw heard a mysterious footprint. Tree knocks. You noticed a smell. You heard tree like, knocks. Just tree knocks. So are like, people what searching for noise? Them? Oh, man. I just don't know. That's its mating call. I, 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 you should have answered. You should have replied by. I, I, I don't doing really want to mate with the Bigfoot. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know, there, there's a he Stonehenge. Wants to mate with you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Stonehenge in New Hampshire, you know. That's right. There is. The other side of the what state. What does Bigfoot have Mystery to do Hills. with Stonehenge? Are well, we just muddling together aliens. all of these? 
Oh, God. <laughs> so I know. Aliens. So now the aliens are involved too. Bigfoot, Stonehenge, aliens. Look, anything it's else all you want to add? One big conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently so. Because somebody will take their consp- the one conspiracy then or the one idea and then and then tag their favorite one on it and then their favorite one on it's it. It's on the shoulders of giants or Sasquatches. <laughs> Indeed. Abominable snowmen. Uh, so go to Drewsdefense.org. You will find the story of a man who um basically is incarcerated for running a website, uh, you know, working on a website. Uh, yeah, at the end of it, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, I in mean, his parents' house, he cannot leave his parents' house. Yeah, he's he's stuck there, and he's on trial. And I think it's an important uh, it's an important case because this is the Silk Road case, and he is supposedly one of the um, administrators of this site. Now, if this site, in fact, uh, if he was one of the administrators, then he was involved in the evolution of making the. Dark markets, black markets, gray markets, safer. Yeah, and he made he a free market. Innocent. Yeah, he made a free market for people. And also, if you're not interested in it from the drug angle or the Silk Road angle, um, Lynn Albrecht, who's the mother of Ross Albrecht, who's the alleged um, mastermind, uh, kingpin yeah. of the Silk Road, um, she she was saying that the government basically could use this case to insidiously kind of redefine money laundering as not needing to involve money, but like any kind of property. So like any, anyone who sells like furniture or like gold and silver could like potentially be coming under these money laundering statutes. And so it's, it's an important case for just basically civil rights all around. Yeah. Regardless of, you know, whether he's guilty or innocent of the charges they're putting upon him, this can really go big into regulating commerce in general. And that's never good. Yeah. Drewsdefense.org. So, Brian, at the beginning of the show, we were talking <laughs> about a blog post from uh, Huffington Post about, uh, I don't know, all Americans need to be drafted or something? Uh, yeah, this is from Huffington Post. It's from H.A. Goodman, who uh, is also a writer for Salon and J. Post, a self-proclaimed Tea Party participant. And again, the title was, if you want to destroy ISIS, Congress should implement the draft and raise taxes immediately. So and I, I pretty. I love much, how he keeps on, uh, you know, assuming that I want to destroy ISIS. Right. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like ISIS one. Well, he bit, did say if. But I will. But but he keeps on making sort of the assumption in the oh, way like, the, the, right. in the right. That's the solution. <laughs> it's my contention. The United the ISIS is a creation of U.S. foreign policy. Um, I mean, at this point, you've had decades to see what happens when the United States is involved. And apparently we have, you know, the United States has the same problems over and over again. Oh, they pick the they pick somebody to team up with and then that person turns on them. And oh, boo hoo. I can't believe that we just, you know, gave all these weapons and training to these people. And now we're going to fight them. Well, yeah, I, I'm sick of this story. Yeah, absolutely. And and really, and before someone calls in, of course, they're welcome to. Uh, but I mean, it is a creation of a lot of different policies. The British Empire's policy before it was American policy. There, there's plenty of uh, really of reasons to go around where somebody just decided to meddle in someone else's business because they thought they knew better. And this is what happens. But let's read on with the story here. Uh, Once we defeat ISIS... We can then begin to destroy the next terrorist group that pops up, like you were just talking about, Mark, like Al-Qaeda uh, Iraq mo- morphed into ISIS with money from higher taxes and from the additional oh. troop levels from a national draft. No, this isn't a joke. And that's the thing is when I was reading this, I, I kept saying to myself, he's got to be kidding, but he's not. The best way to defeat terror is to get everyone on board. So stop watching reruns of terrorists and their just-for-men beards holding the rifles up in glorious poses of victory. Our troop levels are far too low for another war. And like General Shineki, or Shinseki warned over a decade ago, if we're going to occupy Iraq again, we need more soldiers. Don't think we're just going to bomb them and leave it at that. ISIS can remain entrenched within Fallujah and Mosul even after we defeat them throughout Iraq. So an occupying force will be needed to ensure that the Iraqi government survives if indeed we uh, intend on defeating terror, quote unquote. As John Meacham explains in a Time Magazine article uh, titled The Case for Bringing Back the Draft, not having compulsory military service has led this nation astray in a variety of ways. 
and I'll read the quote here. Uh, Without a draft, we are given a great and dangerous luxury. We are in the main we are in the main able to consign our war fighting to a largely isolated force of brave volunteers. The military is a noble calling, and many choose to serve for many different reasons. Whether it is because of family tradition or because a recruit has few other options in life for socioeconomic reasons, the result is that the majority of Americans have little direct connection with the military. Without that direct connection, the politics of war are inescapably different than what they would be if the children of the most influential families in communities across America were at risk of being drafted to face fire at the front. And there's a lot more to this quote, um, but what, whoa. (laughs) Yeah, well, um, I'm not interested in these, like the nice thing about the not having the draft is, is that if you don't agree with the war, you don't have to join the military. Yeah, you got to pay for it, but you're not, you don't have to go. And, uh, you know, the reason the draft was stopped wasn't because you know, it wasn't the because the government was feeling magnanimous. It yeah, was because the, they couldn't d- enforce it anymore. People were just opting out. They were destroying the war in Vietnam by when they did go, they would sabotage the, 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 the operation. Yeah. Sure. And people who genuinely wanted to be in the military don't want to be there with draftees. Like, yeah. They want... Is right, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. As a veteran myself, I've heard the the personal utterances of captains, lieutenants, who have clearly stated, we do not want the draft. Okay, they don't want it at all because the people that they would be bringing over are people that are not interested in what's going on. They want volunteers and volunteers only. This General Shinseki is, uh, I mean, that's insane. Well, I'll, the, the, you know, the, the, this is a, just another step in the indoctrination system, right? Like the state yep. gets your kids for 13 years to indoctrinate them and as much as they, they want. they want them more and, and they want potentially their lives. And then the ones that make it through the indoctrination system still not believing in the state's war can now be humiliated, uh, you know, made to you know do push-ups, run miles, thrown in the brig, what, oh yeah, whatever it is that they need to do physically to that person in order to get them to uh, you know to break their mind and, and get them on board. It's just more government indoctrination yeah. centers. Yeah, and you know, and and just one 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 more point on that. Uh, a lot of people like to applaud, you know, the the greatest generation, that being the the ones that volunteered or the 16-year-old boys that answered the call, you know, even when it was illegal for them to join and they went in, you know, they call that the greatest generation because they put their lives in the line. Well, guess what? That greatest generation also gave us welfare and all of the other social programs that everybody else complains about that is what's b- bringing, you know, Mexicans and whatever other people over the border here because of their sweet deal. So much for your greatest generation. They brought in everything that makes this country not great. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. On Facebook, on the news, and in conversations with friends, we're bombarded every day with advice on how to be healthier, from gluten-free and non-GMO diets to how much exercise and sleep the body needs. But how much have you heard about alkalizing the body? AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are a holistic and natural way to get your body's pH levels back in balance. Just a few drops in water will help your body rid itself of harmful waste. And even the healthiest of diets can be complemented with your daily use of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Who isn't looking for more vibrance, vigor, and energy? Now buy two bottles of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops and get $10 off your order. Visit AlkaVision.com or call 800-518-7615. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops are packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds. Open the door to greater health, vitality, and zest for life. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health. Call 800-518-7615 or head to AlkaVision.com. Tides are caused by the moon. The moon's gravitational pull also sucks up the feces and urine of the ocean floor, dumping it in the intertidal zones. The tide goes out, revealing pus-filled cysts known as tide pools, while the moon itself remains hypocritically pristine. Crabs are one of the many disgusting denizens of intertidal pools. They feed on feces and corpses with their demonic mouths. Scuttling hither and thither, they compete relentlessly for the juiciest excrement. Finding a walrus turd is truly nirvana for these abhorrent beasts. After accumulating too much filth to move, crabs bathe themselves in the ocean. Waste floods off the crab's exoskeleton and back into the tide pools as the cycle of begins anew. 
This is the Onion News Network. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. That's 855-450-3733. Live Sunday night edition with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-3733. And if you're looking to get Bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies, maybe you've heard about them, you want to get into uh, these these new interesting forms of money and they are interesting on the internet the place to do it is expresscoin.com you go to expresscoin.com uh, you can as a matter of fact use coupon code ftl and if you're going to get less than 40 dollars worth just to kind of tip your toe in the water try it out you can do it with no fee at all so go to expresscoin.com get bitcoins litecoin dogecoin black coin dark coin all available in the u.s in canada at expresscoin.com, they make it easy for you. All you have to do is uh, you can use money order, check, or wire transfer if you want. Or you can go to a local um, credit union, make a deposit, and within a business day, you'll have your cryptocurrency in your cryptocurrency account. Obviously, you're going to want to follow the instructions. They do make it clear and easy for you at expresscoin.com. They're completely legal, licensed MSB, and fast and easy to boot. It's expresscoin.com, coupon code FT. L. And, you know, real quick, I mean, getting into these other uh, cryptocurrencies, I, I know some people think that that's a worthless venture. I, I disagree. And the reason my, my great, the greatest point I think that could be made is MySpace and Facebook. No one would have thought in 2006, 2007 that MySpace would ever get unseated by Facebook. And boy, did it happen big time. So keep that in mind. You never know where these cryptocurrencies are going to go. That's true. You never do. Um, let's go to the phones. we got... Uh Daniel calling in. Daniel, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? All's well. Calling in on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. So I had a couple questions. Well, I guess just one about taxes. And uh, I, I, ha I asked Adam Kokesh the same question a while ago. I really love him, and I'm glad you had him on the show. Libertarian but, uh, superstar Adam Kokesh. Yep. Does a, yeah. Uh, yep. Um, so he, he had kind of two really good answers to this, but I want to see what, what exactly your perspective is before I say what he said. But basically, 
I, I think most libertarian or liberty oriented people would agree that a lot of our tax money, a significant portion of it goes to bad things. It goes to killing people. It goes to wars and things like that. Right. OK. Yeah. And uh, so because of that, a lot of people try not to pay taxes uh, whenever they can. And I think that would make sense. That seems like a good thing. But my question is, well, at the same time, a lot of people do. They have no choice. Well, they kind of have a choice, but re really they they have to pay taxes. Like they, e even people that believe it's killing people will still pay sales tax because that's just what they have to do when they go. Yeah, to the or store. the gas tax or whatever. Sure. It's yeah. pretty hard to get so, around. I don't think there's a U.S. Uh, government sales tax, so you're probably not uh, funding war with a sales tax. Sure, but, but yeah. gas tax is still pretty. Your cell phone bill still is. And yeah. Certainly your income tax. Okay, so basically I was wondering, like, isn't it, isn't that kind of selfish to be like, well, I think that, that this money is going to kill people and I don't want to kill you, but if you're going to threaten to put me in prison, in that case, yeah, here, take my money. It's okay. Go. It, you. They'll let. Did we lose him? Yeah, I think we lost Daniel Brown, but I've got the gist of uh, of what he said there. I'll just. Uh, um, I think we can answer it. So. Uh, sure. Yeah. By the way, if uh, if for whatever reason you want to get your call that you maybe he, maybe he doesn't get to hear the whole thing, but if you want to hear your call or you want to hear another part of a show, you can just go to the website freetalklive.com. We have the last seven days of shows available right there for you for free, and you can listen. So if you call in and you want to hear what you sounded like, or you know you just want to hear yesterday's show, whatever, freetalklive.com. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you could start with me if you want. Sure. Uh, as far as, you know, is it selfish? Uh, certainly. But then every act is selfish, of course. Um, I think at the end of the day, when or, you know, when you get to the bottom line of anything that you do, it is always a very selfish act. Um, but as far as, you know, how is this okay that you keep doing that? It's it's very important to keep in mind that this is something you are you have to do very much under duress. At some point, you are going to be paying some kind of taxes or at the end of that line, you are going to get a gun, you know, a man with a gun breaking down your door. Or uh, just even if you manage to avoid all taxes, you're still going to be subject to inflation if you don't use Bitcoin exclusively or whatever, yeah, right. which is harder and to do. And that's really a, a really important point because yeah. much of the budgeting for the U.S. government comes from inflation. It comes from money that you're they're never going to pay. The people that work there in the United States government and all of us listening will all be dead and it will not never get paid for. The United States government's lowest debt rate was one under Andrew Jackson, who changed over from the second national bank to gold as a currency. The lowest debt was in the five figures. I think it was about forty thousand dollars. It might have been twenty, and that was a lot of money in the you know the the uh, ninth president. So I mean, you're yeah. talking about the early 1800s. It was a lot of money, but. Not anything on the scale of what we have today, but we can see the United, the U.S. government is still essentially paying off principal from World War One. Right. Um. I mean, you know, this money never gets paid back. The principal never gets paid back. It never comes back. So your grandchildren will be paying the interest on principal that you've spent, and that's immoral. Um. And but. Uh, you know, as far as his the answer to his question, I should answer his question. I think that when you're under duress, there's you really can't be held responsible for what you do. If somebody says, you know, hey, um, I'm gonna, I've got your kid here and I'm gonna shoot him, unless you uh, go ahead and uh, you know push drive this train full of people to the gas chambers, I I don't think anybody can be held responsible for the decision they make. In that moment in time, yeah, it's I mean, obviously a decision of duress. Yeah, if you the the important thing is to be conscious of what you're doing, yeah. of where that money's going, and then yes, you can be careful to the best of your ability of perhaps you know how that gets how you spend your money or whatever, or you can go to using alternative currencies like Bitcoin and altcoins and all that stuff uh, to even get out of that system entirely. But that's really all you can do because no matter where you move to, unless you go run off to an island, I mean, you're gonna be funding death. 
somewhere because there's governments because war everywhere. is the health of the state yeah exactly uh you know if it's not an inter- maybe it's a domestic war or a foreign war whatever and so you just i think the important thing is you have to be conscious of it and conscious of it and when you are uh that's that's really that's the best that you can do and you can educate people and use when you pay that gas tax then you know just use it wisely and hopefully maybe maybe educate people more on what's going on because that's the only way it's ever going to change R- really taking not paying taxes yeah Yes, I agree that that would be a very interesting form of activism to get into. Okay, it would be darn near impossible, yeah. and it might put you in the irrelevant category because a lot of people, in order to get out of paying taxes, what they do is they make less money, and when you make less yep. money, you generally what you're doing is making less of an impact. Um, That's basically the only way to do it legally, and then you still have to worry. Like I actually know someone who tried to do this, and he was pretty. <laughs> close to successful if you define success as actually not paying any taxes but what he did was he lived in the woods in a trailer on someone else's land he uh barely earned or spent any money uh used like you know bartered for silver whenever possible never went out to restaurants would refuse to go out to eat at restaurants because didn't want to pay the uh, restaurant tax um actually had like didn't eat anything with corn syrup or corn in it because corn is one of the most heavily subsidized subsidized crops, didn't have a driver's license, wouldn't really drive and like came pretty close, but it really affected his life. It was like really hard to hang out with that person. Yeah, it's got to affect your health. And again, how can you educate people if you can't even take them out to lunch? I mean, that's like an easy way, you know, get somebody over their stomach, uh, you know, if you want to, you want to get a message out to them or something. So yeah, I, I just it's to some degree, unfortunately, it's very unavoidable. But if you're if you're conscious of it, at that point, why don't you just go live in another country? I mean, really, well, just even go then, permanent still, traveler. Yeah. That's that's a better solution because you don't have to sacrifice, you know, your creature comforts. And the United States government is one of the few that um, requires its citizens to pay money when not if you make less than a hundred thousand a year, ninety, I think, or eighty, yeah, yeah somewhere Something around like there. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free Talk Live. At the Home Depot, buy one or more pallets of GAF Royal Sovereign three-tab shingles and save up to 20%. Let's raise the roof but lower the cost with bulk pricing on GAF, America's number one shingle, featuring advanced protection technology. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Up to 20% off one or more pallets of select GAF shingles. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Valid through September 17th, U.S. only. See store for details. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. My name's Bruno. I'm 52 years old. I've tried different protein powders over the years, and they've all tasted pretty bad. I tried One World Whey and found it to be delicious. After 10 weeks on One World Whey, my wife commented, you have more muscles and you're leaner than when you were 20 years old. My body has changed dramatically. I'm a cyclist. Normally, I'll ride two days on and take two days off. After being on One World Whey, I rode 10 days in a row in over 100 degree heat, and then I take another two servings of One World Whey and then work out at the gym for another hour and a half. I just couldn't believe these results. My normal muscle tightness and soreness after working out are virtually gone. Don't take my word for it. One World Way comes in single serving. Just give it a try. One World Way is derived from Amish, grass-pastured cows and is newly reformulated to be higher in protein. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Don't worry about things you can't control. Isn't that what they always say? But it's about impossible to avoid worrying about what's going on these days. The government has used the war on guns, the war on drugs, and the war on terrorism to tear our Bill of Rights to shreds. But you can fight back. The Tenth Amendment Center has proven it, racking up major victories. For example, when the U.S. government claimed authority in the NDAA to have the military kidnap and detain Americans without trial, the nullifiers got a law passed in California, declaring the state's refusal to ever participate in any such thing. 
Their latest project is offnow.org, nullifying the National Security Agency. They've already gotten model legislation introduced in California, Arizona, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas, meant to limit the power of the NSA to spy on Americans in those states. We'd be fools to wait around for the U.S. Congress or courts to roll back Big Brother. Our best chance is nullification and interposition on the state level. Go to offnow.org, print out that model legislation, and get to work nullifying the NSA. The hero Edward Snowden has risked everything to give us this chance. Let's take it. Offnow.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We don't have to get through this show prep we've been (laughs) trying to work on here. You can call in about whatever you want on Free Talk Live. That's what we're about here. And hopefully we do it reasonably well. Free Talk Live's on 166 radio stations across the country, last I counted. I think that number might have changed, but I'm not entirely sure. It's always it changes every week. So. Well, we've been growing like a very impressive weed that annoys the garden of the state. Indeed, it, it we have, and uh, it's it's amazing by uh, breaking so many rules of talk radio. Absolutely, eight fifty five four fifty free. Um, we have a YouTube account, and for those of you who wish to go and see the long version of our show right there on YouTube, it is available for you at youtube.freetalklive.com. We've made it easy to get to, to navigate. We made a subdomain on Free Talk yeah, Live. Yeah, that's convenient. <laughs> YouTube.freetalklive.com. Go check it out. You get to see Mark in all his glory. Yeah, yeah. I, I really dress for radio, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to... Justice, calling in from Texas, I believe. No, Siberia. T- Justice, you're on Free Talk Live. No idea what that is. Good morning, comrades. <laughs> Yavo. Is it morning in Siberia? It's morning. You guys are a, mor- a, a Monday morning show right now. So. <laughs> That's awesome. It's 5 a.m. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's it's the mind, Justice? trick uh, that Skype, Skype plays on Mark every time. He always says, it's Justice from Texas. It, there's another Justice. In, <laughs> in, in, in. <laughs> all right. Anyway, a um, couple of things. First of all, I wanted to take the, uh, the uh, Bible scholars to task for your uh, answer on the question of why the parable of the sower was the most important parable that you guys answered a few weeks back to a certain Nathaniel. All right. All right. Um, so I actually am pretty impressed with uh, Mark and Brian, your guys' uh, uh, albeit antagonistic, but nonetheless deep scholarship of the Bible. Thank but you. Uh, in this one, you've, you, you, kind of, you kind of missed the mark. Um, the reason why most Bible scholars think that the parable of the sower is the most important parable is because Jesus said it was. Um, when, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, when he tells us, when the disciples ask him to interpret the parable of the sower for him, he says, if you cannot understand this parable, how then shall you understand any parable? Um, and that's why most Bible scholars believe that the parable of the sower is a, is a sort of, uh, 
decryption code, so to speak, for uh, for all parables. So then, because because Jesus goes through and says that the guy who goes out to sow is the person who tells the word of God. The seed is the word that's sown, and the different kinds of. So it's it's the almost literal roadmap. Well, I guess we're owned there. What's the next one, <laughs> Justice? Say what? Uh, I guess we're owned there. <laughs> What's the next topic? All right, next topic. There you go. <laughs> um, the next topic is um, I'm here in Siberia, and I'm looking for some justice um, from the U.S. press. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just wanted to bring up the topic of the Ukraine and Russia's situation that's happening over there right now. Um, Thank yeah, you, you for calling it the the Ukraine. Thank you. Well, <laughs> isn't that incorrect? <laughs> That's incorrect because uh, that would be re- referring to it as a state and uh, uh, a I person calling from Russia, um, <laughs> <laughs> claiming yeah. that it's the Ukraine, ooh, is ooh, showing all kinds ooh, of ooh. <laughs> bias. Yeah. But um, I yeah. think it must be very interesting watching U.S. press and watching Russian press on this uh, this topic. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, everyone's got their own bias and everything, but the reality is is that. Um, the United States, since the fall of the Soviet Union, has used every possible opportunity to expand its influence in the region. Sure. Um, sw- uh, you know, stepping stepping up the the participation of former satellite states of the Soviet Union into NATO, even though the Reagan administration swore a solemn oath to, um, you know, the Gorbachev administration that they wouldn't do that if they released the so the satellite states, um, and. And America has lost um, any goodwill with the with this current generation of Russians that it ever had, and they actually had quite a bit back in the '90s. I mean, the okay. Russians looked to the Americans like God, um, and 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 to, to to sit over there in the in the states for the media to sit over there and say, um, how how dare Russia do this, or you know, we need to get involved, is just to completely to completely look at the situation without any kind of historical or political context. I mean, um, and it's just absolute, absolute insanity on our part. Well, doesn't uh, we what about, doesn't what make sense about, is uh, you know people in you know, people to decide where they want to, if if they want to be ruled by somebody they should be able to decide who they want to be ruled by but not without not with people with guns pointing at their head when they make the decision. I mean that's kind of how it's it's been up to this point, hasn't it? Well, I mean, to a certain degree, but like, there's there's a couple different topics that you can talk about on that, like the Crimean situation where they had the referendum. Um, you know, you've got seventy some percent <coughs> ethnic Russians living in the Crimea, um, and so when they have this referendum and it comes out to be like seventy some percent of people want to go and be part of Russia, I mean, like, surprise? I mean, is that really, <laughs> really um, so surprising? <laughs> it's kind of like the Hawaiian uh, vote, where um, you know the. Uh, the, the the basically only American citizens living in the territory of Hawaii were allowed to vote whether or not um, the Hawaii would be inducted as a, a state or whatever. Yeah, you know, I, I think Justice is actually bringing up an interesting point real quick uh, about about the American press because I think they have to be working double time, maybe triple time, to make America look good these days. Uh, and if that yeah, means they really. have to smear every other country <laughs> on the planet, they're going to do it, and they are. Yeah, that's it's it's pretty insane. Um, so I just I just don't. Uh, America needs to look back to its I don't know, well, not necessarily its founding, but just just realize that we're not gonna we're not going to protect and support democracy and freedom all around the world by by stomping on everyone's democracy and freedom and well, losing in our own. Country. One of my concerns about what's going on in um, eastern Ukraine is is that the there's been a lot of um, uh, recruitment of Russians to go fight in Ukraine and that seems really disingenuous to me. I mean, if an if a country wants if a portion of a country wishes to secede to another country, shouldn't they and 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 they've got local support for that, shouldn't they be able to find enough people to fight in that geographic area rather than finding, you know, trying to draw people in from I don't know the largest country as far as landmass goes on the earth? Yeah, um, that's a good that's a good thing. But you have to realize the again the the cultural, historical, social aspect of this. I mean, Ukraine to Russia is like what the original thirteen colonies are to the United States. Um, I have people in my village. I'm a I'm a goat farmer out here, missionary slash goat farmer. 
Um, and I've got people down the road who I work with who are like, yeah, I'm signing up to go to, I'm, I'm going to go to the Ukraine and, and uh, help our, you know, our Eastern brothers over there. And I'm like, why? And, well, because it's, it's our homeland. It's our motherland. It's, it's, we, we owe it to them. You know, it's just very weird social it's not it's not so much recruitment is going on as much as people are volunteering um but I've they've got recruitment fans. stations i mean you know there's somebody there to talk oh, you into I mean, it well not in my village all right <laughs> if you look look hard enough so, you know it, well i would start in moscow like five thousand kilometers away from the ukraine <laughs> if, if i wanted to go someplace i would probably start in moscow um st petersburg you know these kind of places because they're geographically sure. closer and they're um you know population centers yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that the United, that the uh, that the Russian involvement in the Ukraine is any better than the United States involvement um, in any of the other places that we've been involved in U, the U.S. I'm just saying that that the the reporting that's going on in the states is just completely off the wall. And uh, if you want to get a decent perspective on a halfway decent perspective on what's going on, then uh, I'd, I'd suggest all the listeners go to. Uh, Dan Carlin and listen to Poking the Bear, his episode that he did on that one. Yeah, um, Dan Carlin's got also, uh, great stuff. The most, his most recent one is really good. Yeah, I um, just, I, so. I guess in this circumstance, it's, I, I do believe it's two people, you know, two countries that aren't, uh, that should just leave Ukraine alone and let it figure out its own thing. If those people yeah, want to secede, they should secede and create their own little country rather than, uh, you know, s- s- teaming up with Russia. But whatever. Um, but I, I, I just. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's, it's one of those things where it's like, well, in the vacuum, what's going to happen? If the United States stays out of it, clearly Russia won't. No, we need another. Well, I, don't, I don't know that that's. I don't know that that's true. I mean, I don't know that that's true. Um, Russia has. It, it, when the thing with Crimea started, everyone was saying Putin is just looking for an excuse. He's just looking for an excuse to get involved. Um, frankly. Yeah, I, I think we need another yeah, music frankly, piece. He's festival. had enough of an excuse. He's had enough. Of it. He has had enough excuses. So I mean, if he wanted to get involved, he would have already had tanks in Kiev. Well, it, it, it isn't going to go well for him if he does get involved. Thank you so much for the call, Justice. I appreciate it. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free Talk Live. Can't we just stop pointing guns at each other to solve our problems? Yeah. Please. Another music piece festival. Come on, let's do it. Oh, fall. A time for cooler temperatures and hot deals from America's Best Value Inn. Save 15% when you book a room online at americasbestvalueinn.com and stay now through October 23rd. Plus, you'll enjoy free continental breakfast, internet, and instant rewards through our Value Club at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Fall into savings this season at America's Best Value Inn. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hard-working men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. 
I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,237, silver opened at $18.55, and Bitcoin is trading around $472.50. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. And support for Liberty Beat comes from the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. Vote Michael Cargill to get the cars moving. Learn more or sign up to volunteer at CargillForTexas.com. Political advertisement paid for by the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. In the news, U.S. troops might, in extreme circumstances, be committed to ground operations in Iraq. Those words Wednesday from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry contradict promises made by President Obama that there will be no boots on the ground in the fight against the Islamic State. The Miami Herald reports that Kerry made the statement during a news conference that followed a meeting with Iraqi officials. Kerry said those officials have not requested or shown any desire for U.S. intervention to assist against the Islamic State. Gun Owners of America is the latest and largest organization to publicly support Schaefer Cox, the American political prisoner who's locked in a cage for allegedly conspiring to overthrow the government. Now, they've designed a flyer about Schaefer to be handed out at gun shows. You can download a copy by visiting freeshafercox.com. Included in the flyer is a quote from Schaefer himself, written from his jail cell in Marion, Illinois. He writes in part, our self-ownership, self-determination, and self-esteem rest on three essential legs. We must be able to think for ourselves, provide for ourselves, and defend ourselves. In Houston this week, a city employee was suspended for laying down on an American flag while working on a lawnmower. According to a report from Fox 13 in Houston, not only was he suspended from work, but the city's mayor is now demanding a public apology, as well as asking him to attend a flag retiring ceremony. Although the employee's actions were not illegal, it's causing an uproar, and he has yet to apologize. See a photo and tell the Liberty Beat what you think about it by visiting thelibertybeat.com or finding us on Facebook. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwestern-style burritos, now with two locations in Austin, 500 East Fenway Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. Find them online, cabobobs.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Senator Ted Cruz has met with opposition in his defense of Israel. ABC News reports it happened this week during a dinner Cruz attended held by the In Defense of Christians organization. Cruz ultimately walked out, telling the crowd that booed him that, quote, if you will not stand with Israel, if you will not stand with the Jews, then I will not stand with you. The vocal opposition apparently began when Cruz told the crowd, today Christians have no greater friend than the Jewish state. The Medina Farm in Wharton, Texas will be hosting a hands-on workshop about food. The Farm Food Family Weekend will include three food-centric events. Friday, November 14th, will feature a farm-to-table dinner with an exclusive local menu created and prepared by Chef Nancy Foster. The next event is an organic cooking class titled How to Stretch a Chicken Five Ways. The event is Saturday, November 15th, also led by Chef Nancy. And the third and final event for the weekend is the Fundamentals of Farming Seminar that will take place Saturday, November 15th. Seating is limited for all three events. Tickets are expected to sell out, so get them early. Visit the MedinaFarm.com for more information and ticket pricing info. Dr. Paul Conant, toxicologist and founder of the Fluoride Action Network, was in San Marcos yesterday for a lunch meeting with city council members and city staff and for a happy hour with community activists. Present at the meeting was Mayor Daniel Guerrero, Councilwoman Lisa Pruitt, and Councilman Wayne Beekack. John Bush, founder of the Liberty Beat and San Marcos resident, was also in attendance. He said the council members seemed genuinely interested and asked some great questions. The visit came as momentum for a city petition drive to put the question of fluoridation to a vote is gaining steam. Join us next week for an in-depth report on the council members' feedback and Dr. Conant's wisdom and advice during the meeting. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM, located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online at bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen, reporting. 
The CEO of Dollar Tree unveils the long-rumored foil baking pan. A new donor liver complains about the difficulty of working with Lou Reed. And a local couple keeps their marriage together for the sake of no one. We'll keep this as quick and painless as possible. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study published this week in the Journal of Financial Economics found that 83% of gamblers quit right before they would have hit the big one. Researchers confirmed that roughly 8 out of 10 gamblers who walked away from slot machines, poker games, horse races, roulette, and other games were consistently just a single stake away from winning it all and unknowingly gave up a lifetime of fortune by quitting prematurely. Our study proved that subjects who closed an online poker session, walked away from a slot machine, or even gave up gambling altogether would have won millions of dollars in the next bet. Also, people who walk away after hitting that big are missing out on a chance to make more money. I mean, when you're hot, you're hot. In other news, an Asian guy has a separate group of Asian friends and a vain Galapagos tortoise tries to pass for 90. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450-3733, live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. That's right, Free Talk Live is live this Sunday evening and every Sunday evening. We've been live f- every night for years. Mm-hmm. Free Talk Live believes that you need live programming. Look, we we cycle in and cycle out the hosts here on Free Talk Live because we believe the show's about you. We didn't call Free Talk Live the Mark and Brian and Stephanie show. Would have been nice. (laughs) We called it Free Talk Live because you're free to call in and talk about what you want here on the Live Sunday edition. And the telephone number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype, as many people have done this evening. And uh, you just have to send a user request. Our username is LRN. That's as in Liberty Radio Network, dot FM. And please give us a call. At uh, 855 450 free. Brian, we have been trying to get through this article for uh, three hours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's about. usually how it goes on Sunday. We've made it further than we usually do. Yeah, the suggestion is, is that we would all be better off with a draft. A draft and higher taxes at that. Yes. Uh, so this is coming. Well, we have wars to fight. Yeah, this is coming from a self proclaimed Tea Party participant. You know, so there's one thing I can sort of get on the board with is I, I, I okay, I don't go for the Tea Party on this guy. Sure. Sorry. Um, I, you know, forget that. This, yeah. guy's, <laughs> this guy's your standard uh, tax and spend uh, Democrat. Mm-hmm. But whatever. That's what I hear. From, that's what I hear from sitting over here. I could be wrong. The Republicans tend to be sort of, ta- uh, you know, deficit and spend. Mm-hmm. And rep- Democrats tend to be tax and spend. It seems to me if an organization is going to spend, it should have money coming in rather than just building debt. Right. So I would say that tax and spend is if you have two choices, which is spend and how you go about getting the money to spend, um, that I would say that tax and spend is more just than deficit and spend however every penny that government spends is money that it got from threatening somebody else with jail time or running them out of business or taking their home away from them that's what the way they do business that's how they roll yeah i I don't know if i necessarily agree with you on that but like because deficit and spend means that they you know pretty much strangle themselves uh financially but uh, really, the United States is seventeen trillion dollars in the hole, and really haven't had our uh, the you know the the rating. The rating is still among the highest of bonds in the world. Yeah, I would think sooner or later the piper's got to get paid. I don't know when that is though, but you might be right. I'm, I'm open to that. I'm so, only saying what's just. Sure, you're, you're you're saying from a practical standpoint, maybe if we let them spend enough money, they'll kill themselves. <laughs> well, Could be. well, financially. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no, they will have uh, drained our, uh, you know, us and our children as as dry as they possibly can before they're, um, you know, they run out of a cap- political yeah. capital. Yeah, that's for at sure. this point. I would never buy treasury bonds. You know, even though people say it's oh such a great investment, and yeah, the return isn't that great either. Uh, people are kind of realizing that, but I don't know. Just the idea of like supporting this bending of the state, you know, and <laughs> that they're going to pay you back later in these inflated dollars. I mean, I'd rather buy a corporate bond from Amazon or Apple than I would with the U.S. government. Yeah. A good friend of mine's uh, a broker. We've known each other for many years. Um, and now I can't say I have a lot of money with him, but he just kind of keeps my IRA. And he deals with people with a lot more money than I do, uh, than I have. I mean, I've just, you know, got 
little bit of money with him. And he and, and he's the only guy I've got. But he's like, you know, you should really get into municipal bonds. You don't like paying taxes. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> seriously? <laughs> Missing the like point. Yeah. yeah. You and I have been separated for too long. Yeah. If you think that's a good idea. <laughs> so, well, as far as other people thinking that these are good ideas but are actually bad, uh, this article, uh, of course, has stated in the Time article, which in the article he was referencing uh, is the case for the return of the draft, um, over 300 million Americans are given the quote-unquote luxury of sitting home and watching the talking heads debate how this country will defeat a terror group in a country most Americans can't even point on a map. General uh, Shinseki asked for more than a double. More than most double Americans of, can't point to America on a map. What uh, are you talking about? Actually, that is uh, true. I don't know if it's <laughs> true, but it's, well, it's, it's there's it been good. some man on the streets, and they can't even name what North America is. But yeah. anyway, uh, asked for more than uh, the general there. Name asked, two countries in North America. <laughs> 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 name four, and they'd probably try. Yeah, uh, give it a yeah. shot. <laughs> uh, asked for more than double. Long Island. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, as for more, General uh, Shinseki asked for more than double the 145,000 soldiers Bush sent to invade Iraq. So if we're lo- looking cl- at close to 300,000 new soldiers, we need a draft. ISIS is throughout Iraq, and bombing alone won't work. So everyone knows ground troops are an inevitability. No, also, they don't. Yeah, I mean, right. The, the United States spent tens of billions of dollars training the Iraqi military, which is tens of thousands, many tens of thousands of people strong, and it's like they've done nothing against this several thousand strong organization known as ISIS. They, you know, it's because they don't have popular currency in the areas that uh, that ISIS is is doing well. It's because, you know, you've got a bunch of Shiites ru- ruling over a bunch of Sunnis, and the Sunnis don't like that much. Yeah, I mean, you have it, one of the clear points being missed here, no question, is the fact that Russia was dealing with the, or the USSR, I should say, was dealing with uh, the very same areas, by and large, not maybe not Iraq, but, you know, the Middle East, it had its issues, Afghanistan, et cetera. And how, what was the size of the Russian army? That was like a five million man army. I mean, it okay. was huge. It was this massive army. And as far as taxes, what are you kidding? The state had all the money in the world. It, it, was, it was almost limitless in what they could do until, again, the piper had to get paid in the 90s and everything fell apart. But the point being is that Clearly, what this person is describing in and of itself, the idea that, look, we need more soldiers. No, there is already a far more brutal nation, that being the USSR, that had all the soldiers you could possibly want. And it couldn't handle this. It did not solve these problems. You're not going to solve these problems. But uh, certainly not with trying to maintain the borders of Ra- Iraq as they are. Yeah, currently. not with more money, not with more soldiers. That's been tried by countries again far more vicious. Than They're going to have military. to figure it out on their own. And I don't know what I have to say about a, a, a country that has, uh, you know, has been supported by the U.S. military, has U.S. military, um, you know planes and tanks and and whatever they've got over there in Iraq, Um, tens of thousands of soldiers that can't fight off a few thousand militants. Yeah, absolutely. That are relatively poorly armed. Yeah, yeah. And and in fact, it's amazing that this, I'm still confused at how ISIS got so much uh, control so fast. That is really weird. Because as far as I understand it, it was a scant, I mean, we're talking in the four digits, just a few thousand people somehow covered a massive geographic area and had, for lack of a better word, control of it. Uh, and that, you know, in, in tactical terms is nearly impossible. I I think it maybe the perception is skewed just by the coverage of it. I'm, I was just saying to you today, Brian, off the air, what happened to al-Qaeda in Iraq? Like, you just don't even hear that talked about anymore. Sure. Well, Whereas part, it used to be this big boogeyman. Yeah, partly, and what this what this actually article is saying is that it morphed into ISIS, but that's not in, entirely accurate. Actually, al-Qaeda still exists, and as far as I know, uh, this is news I just heard today, not relative to this article, but al-Qa- al-Qaeda has broached a, uh, a peace treaty, essentially, between the Syrian rebels and ISIS. And, I mean, what does that mean? You know, now you've yeah. got this, this you know, triple entente 
of, uh, of you know, of Arab uh, secessionist groups or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and boy, I mean, how are you going to handle that? Well, Obama's going to arm the uh, moderate uh, militants in um, Syria. Now, that was the weird thing. Well. The Syrian rebels, I thought that, that U.S. foreign policy was aiding them. Uh, they, they, it was. But the funny <laughs> so, part is, is I love the idea of a moderate Militant. Yeah. <laughs> all these moderates, Oxymoron. All these yeah. moderates standing up and yawning at people. I it's mean, a like, slightly triangular circle, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. sense. I'll read on a little bit more here. Um, actually, you know, I'll really I'll cut to the chase of, of this point. Uh, to my fellow Tea Party Americans who care about debt and who, like me, want these terrorists gone. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, and I don't know who he's reaching out to, but I ask you to remember the cost of war. There, there's a bit more to yeah, this. There's a lot get. of cost of yeah. war. <laughs> yes, that's the problem this I have with this. a very confused individual. Very. 855-450-3733. Are you ready for another multi-year, uh, hugely expensive war, America? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? 
For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 1-855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855-450-FREE. And, uh, you know, Brian, but, tell me about modup.net. Absolutely. Uh, and that's M-O-D-U-P dot net. And if you need focus or are feeling fatigued, trying to get that extra edge, and you know what I'm talking about, when you're just not feeling what you're doing, you're just not feeling it at all, uh, something you can look into is modafinil. From modup.net, you know, skip the cup of coffee or, well, don't skip the coffee, but skip the the caffeine gum or whatever. Look into modafinil, Mm -hmm. look into it for yourself. Uh, You know, I mean, and please do look into it for yourself. Any any time you want to add something, you know, to your day, I think it's a good idea to do your research. Um, But hey, studies show one in five students use this uh, cognitive enhancer. You know, it's offering multiple benefits, you know, a double digit increase in short term memory, fights off fatigue. That's kind of the big one, right, that you want a greater focus overall. I mean, it's fantastic. And they are offering they really do. They offer the the best stuff you can get, even though it's not the brand name. They're still offering, you know, the, the great generic, right? Uh, and so, remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show. Modup.net is an international business. They ship worldwide. Uh, so make sure you look into your local area, uh, you know, about regulations, prescriptions, whatever, about, you know, before you go getting modafinil from modup.net. Uh, but also, you can use Bitcoin if you decide to go with it. Uh, you can use the code FTL, and you'll get 10 free tablets. And if you use that Bitcoin, you'll also get 30 a 33% discount. Again, uh, use the code FTL, get those 10 free tablets, and look into modup.net for yourself. Look into modafinil. Uh, it may be what you need. Now, Brian, I know you haven't ordered uh, modafinil, or at least I don't think you have. Um, I haven't, but I've heard from uh, a lot of personal friends that they really, uh, they, they love it. What it, about Bitcoin is you can remain, I mean, a Bitcoin purchase can be anonymous. Right. What is, how does that work with uh, modafinil? Because I know I've made purchases with Bitcoin where you have to have like sort of a shipping address and things like that. Um, as far as that, obviously you have to ship it someplace. Yeah, right? you've got to ship it someplace. But there, as far as what they ask is for information when you order, it is exceptionally minimal. You okay, just got to have go. a place to ship it to. And other than that, well, that's up to the person. Modup.net. Brian, um, this article about the draft. Yeah, uh, I want to finish it up here with the the last paragraph, which which is kind of the uh, the dovetail for it all. Um, to my fellow, and again, this article is about. This, this guy is recommending, look, if we want to solve the problem with ISIS, we being the United States, we need to reinstate the draft and raise taxes. Right, because at this point, all the soldiers are sick and tired of the crap that the Department of Defense has heaped upon them at this point, and uh, they're you know ready for a mutiny if they go back in, I would assume. Yeah, so <laughs> to my fellow Tea Party Americans. And, and Obama's, by the way, he, I think he's just avoiding sending uh, troops, uh, putting boots on the ground, because he's just sending in paid military contractors. Essentially mercenaries. He, yeah, yeah. And, uh, of course, bombing. Campaign. But I, I think it's it's pretty much inevitable. And I find it pretty deplorable, honestly, that Obama made this, He, you know, and this article references Obama's, you know, statements on ISIS and what he wants to do about it, that he made these statements on September 10th, uh, be, the day before September timed. 11th. Yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, that was so perfectly timed so that the next day everybody's thinking, yeah, and this problem still persists. Let's go send our boys uh, back in. And of course, you know, pers- as though Iraq had anything to do with 9-11. With anything. Right. Yeah. And, and even and and especially with Iraq, it's so pathetic because even George W. Bush made a joke, a literal joke at a dinner party. Oh, where about, he was looking under the table and yeah, saying, yeah. oh, they must be here somewhere, those weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <looking for, looking. laughs> yeah so I don't see him under here. Don't see him under here. 
I mean, yeah. it was just, it was insane. Yeah, he got a lot of negative PR for that. Well, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, imagine if your kid died over there because you were told there were going to be weapons of mass destruction, not to mention rape rooms, um, and not to mention that terrorist training camps with a 747 fuselage. I remember all these things. And yeah, it's like me Americans too. The yellow forget- cake. It's yeah. all propaganda. And, and, you know, they never showed me the 747 fuselage. They never showed us the rape rooms where uh, Kufi and Tutu or whatever there is, Saddam's uh, oh, right, kids the, yeah. names were that uh, supposedly raped every woman in Iraq or whatever that was that they did. Um, I mean, you know, none of this stuff, all that, w- once they went to war, all the stuff that they said in order to get there was just forgotten. Yeah, and they tried to do, they tried to do their best to make it forgotten, or, again, they made an absolute mockery out of the very reasons that apparently, you know, that, that the U.S. went over there. Uh, you know, personally, that affects me very deeply. But anyway, to, to go on with, uh, with with his points here, to my fellow Tea Party Americans who care about debt and who, like me, want these terrorists gone, I ask you to remember the cost of war. According to Harvard University, the U.S. has already borrowed some $2 trillion to finance the Afghanistan and Iraq wars and associated defense buildup, a major component of the $9 trillion U.S. debt accrued since 2001. The total cost, which uh, will reach each six trillion when health care costs from both wars are taken into account and the interest from borrowing could reach trillions. To the rest of my country, in terms of actually fighting against ISIS, we'll need a draft to ensure that uh, they don't morph into another group and ensure they don't simply wait until we leave Iraq. Another occupation will be needed, and this will amount to boots on the ground for years and far greater troop levels. Together, though, some sacrifice we can uh, through some sacrifice we can defeat these terror groups so that 250,000 Iraqi soldiers. Kurdish force uh, and Sunni militias don't have to do it on their own. Yes, we spent over a decade in Iraq and Afghanistan nation building, and we can't let up now. We need to continue the fight, even if it lasts forever. You know, if you really wanted to increase even the effect if it of last forever. Oh yeah, that's what he's all about. You'll yeah, last forever. If I can, yeah, just this sounds last like that's line. what they want. Just this last line: Open up your pocketbooks, pick up a gun, and say goodbye to your family because America needs everyone to chip in and protect liberty. This guy's not ah. joking. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. He, how about he goes first? <laughs> yeah, right. After you, buddy. I pat you on the back. You go for it first, Jack. I have no intention of going. I don't care how many, how yeah, many people go ahead me of me. Too. I have no intention of it. Um, and I, you know, I just, it's, it all seems, it's, oh, so far, it's all a waste. Show me the, show me the war in the last uh, several decades that has been worth it. And I just don't think there is one. No, no. I mean, who's who's feeling more free, right? That That's always the ultimate question. Who's feeling more free? I don't think anybody is. I think everybody's having a harder time at the airport. I think everybody's having a harder time in every situation they go through. They're getting DNA, DNA checks in Pennsylvania from getting pulled over or, or you know, blood, blood tests, whatever. I mean, it's just all kinds of nonsense is going on. You have Ferguson and all this stuff. Who's feeling more free with all these wars? But I think this article is being incredibly honest in what it would take to keep the present system going. Yeah, I think he's absolutely right. Yeah, he is. There's another alternative that he doesn't mention, which is to put every U.S. troop on something that smokes and send them back towards the United States. And close down every base. Yeah, I just don't see any particular reason for it. If you've got, you know, political friends over there, give them the equipment that's over there and let them hash it out with whoever it is uh, that they're dealing with. You know, I don't see any reason why in the world the United States uh, military, you know, our sons and daughters should go over there and protect the Middle East when the Saudi Arabian army army seems to have no interest in it. They want it. Saudi, the Saudi kings, they want the United States there um, involved. Why don't you do it? Yeah, absolutely. You've got all these people that basically are on welfare in Saudi Arabia. Give them a gun and put them to work. Yeah. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, you could sell off the American bases. We could, you know, the U.S. could make a ton of money off of that. Your call's next, 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Are you ready to...
to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You'll be in terms. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733 or LRN.FM on Skype. That's 855-450-3733, the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. And you can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind, 855-450-FREE. I have been using a product for a few months now called My Magic Mud. Oh, man. And so you, have we. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you, you've <laughs> Maybe been using... not for a couple months. Well, yeah, I guess it's, it's been, been a couple about weeks that long. for me. And 
I mean, it's I awesome. love this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. What it does is it's, uh, you know, sort of a tooth polishing, tooth cleansing uh, item. It's powder, but it's black. It's dark. Black as midnight. It just reflects no light. This stuff's amazing. You can go find. It looks it. really funny when you put it on your teeth because it looks like you're you're like missing teeth, you know, because the black is covering them up it's when dark. you smile, or it looks like you just have a mouthful of a mud pie or something. <laughs> but it really gets in there and cleans my teeth in a way that I just didn't expect to have happen. My there's no film on my teeth in the morning. It's just gone. The bacteria, the the charcoal in my magic mud just binds with the bacteria, pulls it out of there. You spit it out and it is gone. As a matter of fact, it's non toxic. Nothing in it is is a problem. You can swallow it. Um, you know, completely natural remedy. Um, so it's not a big deal if you do happen to swallow it. There's uh, about for about twenty five dollars. There's one hundred and fifty applications. It's not terribly expensive. I don't use it every time I brush my teeth. Just about every other day. Yeah, I think the first week you use it every day. Yeah, and then after that you can skip a couple days or whatever. But it's great, and I don't think that I, I think you'll be like me and never want to be without it again i sure. even you know at some point or another their ad run's gonna end right and i'm gonna continue using my magic mud because it is awesome it's my magic and for it by the way helpful for people with uh, sensitive teeth and people who don't like the taste of toothpaste because it has no taste yeah i think they do have a mint version though if you want it my magic and you can go see a great video that we've got um at mud.freetalklive.com let's go to Ron calling in from Iowa. Ron, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. That's what we I do on Free Talk Live. Great. Uh, I was just curious, you know, how that uh, when we, the United States, that is, we, we retrain the quote-unquote new Iraqi army, and then here recently, ISIS has come in and uh, basically the new Iraqi army dropped the weapons that we gave them up to four divisions worth of weaponry M1A1 Abram tanks and ran. Yep. Now ISIS has control of all of that weaponry and now our glorious here army president wants <laughs> us to go in and uh, train Syrian deadbeat rebels and give them weapons, and these Syrian rebels would have no problem turning these weapons against Israelis or probably against our own troops in the future and use our tax dollars to do this. Yeah, let's not forget that the, the Obama wanted to go to war against Assad a, a year ago. Yeah, the, 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 of course, this is the same situation that happened with Osama bin Laden. Those were, you know, U.S. weapons that he's been using. Right, the Mujahideen. They yeah. Was, the U.S. armed them. The CIA armed them. Yeah, this just keeps on happening right. over and over again, Ron. Yeah. And you know, another thing is that we're already in, um, you know, we're, we, we've we already, ups, we're upset at the Russians for what they're doing over, been over there in Ukraine. And the Russians have a naval port along the coast of Syria. They've always been buddies with Assad. Right. And here we're wanting but to go into and do strategic bombing and arming rebels to attack Assad. You think the Russians will sit by and yawn? And yeah, they, like, oh, yeah they, don't, they don't care anything about their strategic naval base in, in Syria. Nah. It's, it's crazy. I, um, it's World War III. I, I, I feel sorry for our troops. I, I feel sorry for the brave men and women who that a couple weeks back when we heard our president say he has no strategic plan. And just to imagine what they felt like thinking – our leader has no plan. He's our commander in chief. Well, they're developing a plan. Nothing. It'll just stink. Um, now, but I, here's what I wonder: is is that? I mean, it, it seems like obviously they recruit young people to do to to be in the military. But I wonder whether it's because. I mean, anybody else would be able to sort of look historically and say, well, for a paycheck that turns out to be less than a minimum wage, I'm going to continue right. to be put in harm's way for the same stupid foreign policy mistakes that have been made over the course of decades. Um, I, I mean, you know, this is just the same thing that keeps on going on over and over again. And one's got to kind of wonder why people keep signing up. Yeah, it, it really. I don't know. I. Yeah, it's one of those I, things I where, you know, you, you can join the military, but you can't drink. You're not old enough to drink. Oh, because that doesn't make any 
sense at all. And I think the reason that this is so is because they know they have to, especially today with the just the madness of the U.S. foreign policy. Uh, they have to get kids while they're really, really young because, you know, if, if they waited much longer, they'd have their reason behind them and they could say, no, 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 no. You're not selling. Right. This is a bad bill of goods. Ron? That's right. You're exactly right. You know, I, my son, he is in the U.S. Army Reserve. He's been there eight years. And he was just telling me the other day, he said, Dad, I regret re-upping for another six years. Oh, yeah. And, sorry uh, to hear so that. Yeah, he's been in for that. eight, and he went re-up. How's that work? I mean, was he in for two, and then it doesn't – my thought it was no, always he, four I'm, and four. He, he signed up for six when he started, Okay. and then he signed up for another six. Gotcha. So he's in for – he's, he's got himself four more years to go. Yes, sir, and uh, I, um, I feel I, I'm I'm sad about that. But you know, at the time when he asked me, he said, "Dad, what do you think about me joining the army?" I said, "You know what? Since you asked me about that, you you, you value my opinion at the time." I said, "You know, I, I I think it would be a good thing." And so, go ahead. You basically have my blessing on this. And now it's like I I regret saying that. Yeah. I love our country. I love I love our the, the men and women in uniform. But you know what? I fear our government that they would have no problem of letting these our finest and best be butchered in some bloodbath just to let ISIS that, keep on growing. That's what they employ them for is uh, bullet catchers. No doubt about it. Ron, I, I all the best to yep. you. Thanks for the call. Yeah, I do just want to say quickly that to, uh, to Ron and his son, actually, that I know— You were in the that, Army, too. Yes, I, I'm a veteran. I got out early. Uh, you can get out early. You can get out early, you know, with not with without demerits to I mean, you can. It is possible if you feel if your conscience catches up with you so bad. Believe me, you can get out. It is going to be tough. They will pink vest you. They will do all kinds of things. But please do share with your son that if he really feels I can't execute my orders, he can get out. OK, let's go to Nathan. Calling in, I believe, from Texas. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. What's on your mind, Nathan? Well, I wanted to thank Justice for the shout-out earlier, although I'm still not convinced uh, that most Bible scholars are right on that. So, um, Oh, but, this was uh, about the, the parable of the sower. Right. I still haven't decided uh, which one is the most important one, but I like the follow-up. Yeah, I thought he made a point. I mean, if Jesus says it, I suppose you kind of have to, if your Lord says it, you sort of have to agree with him that it's the the most important. But uh, I think your question originally, Nathan, was like, what is the most defining? And uh, right. I definitely, I still wouldn't put that as the most defining. Right. If, I guess if anything, you'd have to say the Sermon on the Mount is the most defining. But that's, that's not, not, a, not a parable. So. Um, I actually had, did have a question today, though. Uh, I assume all the hosts present are using the My Magic Mud product. Correct. That's correct. So I was curious what the what effect it has on plaque buildup and on uh, main, maintenance of, uh, or I guess reduction of plaque o uh, over time. So you that's a tartar. Or I plaque? would like to know that too. Uh, he's probably talking about tartar because plaque becomes tartar over that's time, correct. right? So, so plaque is so the plaque gooey, gross stuff that looks like uh, margarine on uh, you know, teeth. It's disgusting, no doubt about <laughs> it. And my magic mud removes that. Tartar is what happens when a, when plaque is uh, sits in your teeth. I'm long going enough. to the dentist next month. We'll see what they say. I'm going tomorrow. And uh, the last <laughs> time, I actually because of a gingivitis issue, soon. I had to go every three months. So the last time I went, she was like, "This is really great." She, she commented on how clean my teeth look. Mm. So I'm uh, interested in that. Nathan, thanks for the call. Hope we answered your question. 855-450-3733. Final segment of Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. 
He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Are you about to meet the media? If you're about to be interviewed, do their homework for them. Know this about the person who will interview you. He or she is busy, so expect minimal, if any, preparation. He or she doesn't know as much about your topic as you do. He or she isn't as concerned as you are about getting your message out, so you need to take responsibility. Provide a biography and fact sheet, photographs, or other materials that tell your story story. Reporters won't be put off if you supply frequently asked questions. Remember, Public Speaking 101, at the end of the speech, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You can download the document I supply to reporters who interview me and squirm through a video that demonstrates how not to conduct your media interview at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Please do your online shopping through shop.freetalklive.com. We've got major retailers there with whom we have affiliate relations. So when you do your Amazon shopping, and I think we've got a few more, Newegg, Walmart, um, you know, certainly gold.freetalklive.com through Midas Resources. Uh, but when you do your online shopping there, we get a little spiff. You get the same prices, the same service you normally get. We just get a little bump. It's an extra click, shop.freetalklive.com. That's all we ask. And what it really does is it's able for us to uh, sort of spread out the risk as far as uh, advertisers go. Because, you know, when you have, uh, have ideas that are off the mainstream, it can be difficult to get the most conservative class of people on the planet, that is business owners, <laughs> to get on board. I don't mean p politically conservative. I mean they just don't take risks. Yeah. Why should they? Well, they take a lot of risks, but why would they want to take one more yeah. than they, they have to? They don't need your risk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. So, <laughs> do your online shopping there at shop.freetalklive.com. All right. So I've got an article here, and I think we should just say as a public service announcement 
this is a satirical article, but it's really funny. And I think we need some comic relief after spending the whole show talking about oh, ISIS. Oh, man. And... I thought we were going to go all War of the Worlds and <laughs> just run with it. It kind of like reads like that. So, <laughs> I mean, there's people tuning in all the time. I just don't want to, you know, really confuse anyone. But, I mean, like like any good satirical piece, there are grains of truth to it. We've had really weird weather this year. I don't know if you've noticed. You guys have noticed. They say that. it's going to be really cold this, uh, this winter and snowy. That is what they say. So, here's the headline from Empire. EmpireNews.net, which of course is like a satirical site. Meteorologists predict record snat- shattering snowfall coming soon. Bread and milk prices expected to soar. Now, why do people <laughs> buy bread and milk? If you think your power is going to go out, if there's a storm coming, why do people do this panicked rush to the grocery store to get milk if you think the refrigerator is not going to be working? Um, <laughs> does, maybe they think that sense. the refrigerator is going to work, uh, but that they're not going to be able to get on the road. So they want to get the items that are going to spoil the most quickly and have them as fresh as possible. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Because I've got a generator. If the power goes out, I'm going to crank that baby up and everything's going to be fine out yeah. in uh, Ed- Edgeville. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, chances are you'll hear a lot about El Nino in the next month or two. Meteorologists and weather science experts at the National Weather Service say there is a 99% chance that we'll start to see a massive cold front sooner in the year than has ever happened, which will produce not just record-breaking snowfall, but according to Dr. Voris Svediak, a doctor of global weather sciences, record-shattering snowstorms across the board affecting the entire United States. And they've got this graphic of the U.S., with just the whole thing covered with above average snowfall. <laughs> I've seen these maps and it's like, you know, and I'm just loving the way they got New England like covered in a giant clod of uh, snow. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You, you know, real quick, I Googled why do people buy milk and uh, and bread? Oh, enlighten us. What yeah, and it's th- the compulsive desire to stockpile. Uh, perishables isn't always based on logical behavior. The thought to get milk before a storm is followed by the action or compulsion to go out and stockpile it. In one way or another, we spend a lot of time and energy trying to feel in control. And buying things you might throw out still gives the person a sense of control in an uncontrollable situation. That is the most sensible explanation I've ever heard for that. Yeah. In phenomenon. Florida, all you, so, had to, all you had to do is say hurricane and all the Yankees yeah. would run to the store and buy all the oh, water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By contrast, if you bought beans and tuna, it was sending the message that you expect the storm to keep you homebound for an extended period. So it's almost a mental trick to say that it'll blow over. I see. <laughs> Something's going to blow over if you eat too many beans. <laughs> anyway. Tuna's good for you. For the sake of comparison to the past winter, uh, says the meteorologist quoted in the, the fake meteorologist quoted in this article, mm-hmm. let's say your area received a total of 20 inches of accumulative snow for the season. Because this year the snowfall is predicted to start at the end of September, you can expect to multiply that number by 5, 10, or maybe even 20 times in some areas. In the worst zones, you could see 50 times the amount of snow you've had in the past. This is the type of winter the American public needs to prepare for. Several meteorologists are saying not to buy into what the models are showing, but I can tell you from 40 years of scientific weather research, they're doing you a disservice. Uh, (laughs) Pretty much everyone will see snow like they never have in their lives. Most younger people don't even know what an actual blizzard looks like, but by the end of March, they will be seasoned survivalists, Blanken Baker said. Everyone needs to make sure that they have their weather emergency kits prepared and ready to go. There will undoubtedly be mass power outages, which along with freezing temperatures and enough snowfall to immobilize entire cities, will most likely be a very dangerous recipe. Safety comes first and the time to prepare is right now. Along with the mention of severe weather, the Food and Drug Administration predicts uh, supply and demand could cause shortages, causing the prices of bread and milk to increase substantially. (laughs) FDA spokesperson Rebecca Miller suggests alternatives in preparation of the coming months. We are encouraging that you go out and purchase bulk amounts of dry powdered milk, which can be stored in your cupboards. This will prevent frantic trips to the grocery store and supermarkets as the onslaught of storms begin to fall upon your respected region. Yeah. As far as bread, drink that crap at all. (laughs) We suggest that you buy as much as you can efficiently store in your freezer. Bread can be frozen and thawed without compromising the integrity of its quality. Preparations such as these. Are crucial, and the fact that technology has brought us to a time and place in which such events can be predicted is quite remarkable. So stock up on your powdered milk and fill your freezer with loaves of bread, because once those blankets of snow begin to fall, brave souls will confront the elements to raid stores of these products like some sort of scavenger hunt. <laughs> Don't be part of the snowpocalypse. It's a dangerous battlefield of crazed shopping, winter-bitten weather zombies. 
out there. <laughs> can't, can't we just drone like the, these snow clouds? <laughs> well, you know, up here in New Hampshire, where uh, you know we all moved for the Free State Project at freestateproject.org, uh, you know. There's a lot of winter sports. People make a lot of money off of the snow. The snow is a good thing for New Hampshire. People, The state's actually growing slightly um, because people want to live here. Apparently, the snow isn't as bad as they think. You know, wait a minute. But President Obama specifically said that drones solve everything, and he's good at it. He is good at <laughs> it. Well, they're shutting down HARP, so they're going to have to replace it with something. Yeah. We don't want oh, those see, jobs See, that's to why this lost. is coming. It's because HARP got shut down. Now, see, nature... They were just holding it back. They raised the ionosphere just so much, right? And so now it's coming back down with a vengeance. Something like that. Make <laughs> sure you have pre- plenty of bread and milk. Uh, public safety organizations also encourage the masses to prepare themselves by obtaining proper necessities, James Satterfield from the National Fire Safety Advisory Board says. Preparation can save lives. Don't wait until temperatures plummet into a freeze. Obtain cold weather clothing and footwear, including wool thermal socks. It's also crucial to have plenty of batteries, candles, weather radios, you name it. Get prepared. It's coming, Satterfield stated. First and foremost, make sure you have an effective plan in place to make sure you have plenty of bread and milk. (laughs) (laughs) Dr. Skvediak says to be prepared for a storm that could come as early as the end of September and plan for the entire winter season, which this year he says will more likely spread into next June. (laughs) Christmas in July. (laughs) (laughs) And this has got 1.5 million shares on Facebook, so it's it's amusing. Very popular. (laughs) No doubt about it. I don't know why people would go to the grocery store and buy bread and milk, um, particularly you know when they think that the snow's coming. But I we don't buy that that stuff is not healthy for you at all, in my opinion. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. you don't you don't eat bread. No, no no bread, and I don't drink milk. Consume either of those things. Yeah, Yeah. we don't get really get milk at our house either. We used to get raw milk, but uh, my son just stopped consuming it, and it's like, meh, you know, that stuff goes bad. So we (laughs) we don't really drink it anymore. Just like every other animal, he finally stopped drinking milk when he got older. Uh, he has <laughs> right. decided uh, on his own to, to stop drinking milk. At the, there was a time when he didn't want protein uh, from any other source than, than milk, and I'm like, you need protein, son. And so, <laughs> you know, I, I was encouraging it, but now he, you know, he eats meat and that kind of thing, so it's fine. I wonder how many people shared this on Facebook thinking, thinking it, it was, was real. I think a lot of people did. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Empire News, which is the satirical site. It's hard to tell that it's fake until you get maybe to the very end where the FDA spokesperson is talking about the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, and making sure you buy, pl- like they keep repeating, first buy and bread foremost, and milk. <laughs> make yeah. sure you have a plan in place. The first thing that anybody who, uh, you know, you talk to about the Free State Project at freestateproject.org says about moving to New Hampshire is it's like, but it snows there. The weather. Oh, my God, it's cold. You know, I'd rather have some place where people think twice about moving because you're going to have far fewer warm weather is poor solace when it comes to uh, freedom. Mm-hmm. You know, Florida, it's got great. If warm weather bought freedom, Florida would be free. I moved from <laughs> Florida to New Hampshire for the Free State Project because that place is a mess. And, you know, I'll deal with some snow. I'm not much of a winter uh, sport uh, aficionado. I should find one that I can deal with, but... Yeah, I haven't. You know, I totally agree. Uh, Actually, I used to kind of be of that survivalist mindset. You know, what's going to happen when the S hits the fan? It's always an interesting problem, logic problem, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I would not. Everybody says, oh, yeah, you want to be living in like Mexico or down south or something. No way. That's where everybody's going to (laughs) be. And I mean, you want to be where you have to really be prepared to survive and you have the time. The thieves are going to move to warm places. Exactly. Steal all the the prepper's stuff. You got it. The folks in the warm places, that'll be fine. Run to the hills. Well, until next time, make sure you have enough bread and milk. That's right. We'll see you next week. (laughs) Check us out in the meantime at freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. freetalklive.com. Do you drink Free Talk Live? I thought pagans worship the earth. I didn't think they've cast spells. Well, like, uh, and they do rituals, and they, oh, you know, really? they I'd like believe to s- in the, the spirits and the energies and the whatever other crap makes them feel better about themselves no, that wait, wait, afternoon. Wait, 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 wait. Paganism has something to it. You know, they sort of there's sun worship involved in there, and I think the sun, if you're going to pick a god... There is real energy involved in the a, sun. ...is a pretty good god. <laughs> I mean, Real endothermic energy, yes. <laughs> it's reliable. Every day it rises and it sets. Yeah. I mean, and if you we don't count have it, we'll freeze to death. Yeah, if you don't 
don't have him, you die immediately. Like, life on the planet just sh- begins to shut down without the sun. Sun's a good god, all, all in all. Right, but then once you start making requests of the sun, you start going overboard. Well, I, I, once you say, oh, great and powerful sun, help photosynthesis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you are asking for something other than green plants or vitamin D. You need- <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.fm. 